and we are live as <laughs> fuck. Television for the smart hearted. Welcome. Uh, we have our guest tonight. He's a motherfucker. He's cool as shit. His name is Tony Perez. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. And joining me as my guest co-host is Christy Vera. Is that how you pronounce me? Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Andrew couldn't make it tonight because he is Whoa. in a getting your dick sucked competition. That's pretty sweet. He, what do you think it actually is? He's in last place. What do you think he's not, not here? For? He's working. He's, he's at work. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's, uh, uh, and I'd like to plug Six Flags Over Georgia and the uh, the Cowboy Show. Um, if you're ever in, at Six Flags, go by the Cowboy Show and uh, check. Maybe Andrew will be there. He's, he's one of the like Cowboys. That. Yeah, he's one of the Cowboys. That is kind of raw. How often does he do that? You like every day. Turn off the filter. All right, turn. All right, I'll do. We're turning the filter off. It's fucking the whole. <laughs> All I could hear was the filter. Oh, that's so much better now. Yeah, I guess. Thank so. you. Uh, yeah, now the silence is more golden. Yeah, so what you been up to, Tony Perez? Well, first of all, you know, the weather's been crazy as shit. <laughs> Second of you all, the weather. I always, always, but it's frightful. Recently, somebody sent me an entire package of meat. Um, I talked about this maybe a month ago, but somebody a package of meat. A package of meat. Yeah. Yeah. Anything they fuck literally, you. literally mm -hmm. like a package of meat. Like, have you ever received a package of meat? And it was different types of meat. It wasn't just like sausage or bacon or something like that. There was no message to be received. It was just fucking meat. Was it like ground beef? Was no, it, I mean some was of it was fresh ground and beef. good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Hell did, yeah. Did you know what the person who sent you? The meat? I mean, I inevitably found out what it was, but um for about a month there, I thought somebody was like out to get me. I was like, because nobody sends me meat. That's the only time I've ever has anyone ever sent you meat. Should I look at you like this? It doesn't matter. You know, <laughs> I don't, I don't you know. know. I mean, it depends how you. interested are you. Should in I talk meat? to you like if I talk to you like this, it makes a better show. Yeah. I'll literally be looking at you and I'm like, whoa. We can look, we can make eye contact. But if I'm like screen. this, I'm literally turned around. We we can make eye contact. Are you are you I'm gonna look at you through the screen, guys. That's perfect. Are you, are you shitting on my setup? Okay, no, this is how it ha like I don't know show business this is how it has to work. Yeah, this is show business, by the way. This is literally this, there's <laughs> like three lights in here. It's pretty Hardcore. Yeah. That is pretty good though. I mean, if you're if you ever had a migraine, like the more lights, the better it is. Like, <laughs> honestly, though, that helps. And this, right here. by the way, this is television for the smart hearted hangover edition. That's why we have these glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're so hanged over, man. Yeah. Well, but but so it was refrigerated meat. That's pretty interesting. It was with dry ice. There was dry ice. I mean, it's fucking high class. Like it packed as well. I used to want to steal because I lived in an apartment building, and a lot of people were getting real boxes of like food and you know it's like refrigerated real food yeah yeah, yeah. and you're like dude if i get that bot if i take that that's like a bunch of cool meals yeah that i just <laughs> sold you could be doing them a favor you could be doing a favor. maybe they're on a diet they're fat you, you yeah, put them on more extreme diet. diet you put them on a more extreme yeah diet. when you're ordering boxes of food it's because you're trying to control yourself i guess I, I think it's just you're having fun with it like what hello fresh and shit y'all do that fun. no i just eat shit do y'all do that here what in this? Yes, in this household, we do Hello Fresh. Yeah, you try to mix you it up. Sponsor for that? I'm trying to. You should. You yeah. fucking should. Yeah, I did it one time, and I was I was having fun with it, but it was so expensive. They try to put you on a plan. I yeah, I don't pay for it. I just get charged. I'm gonna take these motherfuckers off. You don't pay for it. You just get charged. Yeah. That's where we're at. What do you mean? That's so the, it's that's credit. The you put it on your credit. No, I don't. Uh, yeah. I I don't pay for it. My wife pays for it. Oh, okay. Okay. But then she collects money from me. Oh, that feels so much better. I don't know how you can. So I don't understand why glad rappers rappers wear sunglasses indoors. Do they? Yeah. It's because the lights. Kanye or is somebody was like, you can't see past my shade. You can't see past my shade. Like it's a whole rap song. Okay, I don't know anything about rap. Some of it could be perceived as like trying to hide some, like you all were doing, trying to hide some of the drugs that you're on. I mean, I think some of it's yeah. going to be that. Wait, but I thought, okay, so you are wearing glasses because of The Hangover, right? Yeah, just call me Little Zan. Because of the movie, The Hangover. You just, the, all right, fuck. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, because of your yes. hangover. Um, but what is the what do the glasses do for the, a hangover? First of all, rose-colored lenses make everything happier. Dude, I love those. I, I used to have some of glasses that color. Yeah. And I lost them. Can I? Do you have another pair I can have? Uh uh. This is this is a pair for me. 
Okay. But they're Fair really enough. they're really addictive. Like it makes <laughs> the real yeah. When you take them off after hours, yeah. it makes the real world look gray. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, I gotta put these back on. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. That and really yellow glasses are good. You ever had yellow yeah. glasses? I can't do yellow because my skin tone. Like you're not supposed uh, to have yellow on when you're Hispanic. Is that because I, hold on? Why is that? I've never been told that before in my life. Yeah, because you're are, are not you, in fashion and style. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, okay, that that's fair. I thought it was like a gang thing. I was like, why can't you wear yellow? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, do you, the do, you yellow around, gang. do you go around the wearing biscuit. green much? I mean, there are, there are days I have a green flannel. I mean, who doesn't have a green flannel? Do you feel like it looks good that. on you, a green flannel? <sighs> Pretty sure, yeah. I guess by your logic, Hispanic shouldn't wear yellow. I probably shouldn't wear pink. Yeah. Because it, <laughs> it brings to that it, way too fast. I was because I was gonna say it. I was gonna say like salmon and pink would not look good on you because it brings out the redness behind yeah. your skin, and like we have yellow Instagram? behind our skin. You want to go change? No, it's okay. Okay. So you would include Iranian in with Hispanic? Yeah, you have like an olive. It's like an olive tone. So I can't wear yellow anymore. I know Asians obviously can't wear yellow. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess that's a zoom. What if what if I sit like this for the rest of the time? Like a, like hey. a basic instinct type of fucking thing. All right, I'm gonna sit like this for the rest of the time. <laughs> Let's talk about Perez. So, so you I take over. This is your show. Go ahead. This is you know you're the fucking co-host. Yeah. Yeah. Co-host this shit. You're in charge. I'm taking a break right now. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Perez. What's your what name? I was gonna say was uh, we were all at a show. Last night, yeah, um, it was at uh, Charles Charles Charlton Charlton. Check it out, Charlton's Charlton. This Friday, uh, Rosie Resnick with the with the big titties is doing the doing a Christmas show. So come check that shit out. Oh yeah, lots of gifts. Oh shit, I'm not in that live. <laughs> but uh, you know, it was it was a pretty pretty small show. I mean, nowadays because of COVID, obviously there's not near as many shows. So anytime you can do time, it's like fuck it, I'll I'll yeah, do time. So it was definitely swell. Like I, I was appreciative for the venue. That guy was like hella nice. He literally said, "Y'all heard?" He said, "You can come by here on a busy did, night and yeah. and like do a so, set." Now yeah. I know that he said that, and maybe I don't think he was drinking that much, but at the same time, uh, that's like a hell of an opportunity. He always I seems like he's kind of drunk. To me. I don't know. I, me too. <laughs> me too. But it could just be the weight. Cause it could just be the alcoholism, the sweat. I don't know. But he he was very fucking hospitable. And I yeah. was just surprised to hear him say that. And not to say that I would ever have the balls to take him up on. I may never do he's, that. I'm no, going to do it. He's a nice fucking guy. Well, I if you almost, do it, let I me know. Yeah, you live it. right next door. I live right there, so I can clarify with him. Oh, oh like, well, yeah. Sure. If you live right next door, it's like, fuck, you could yeah. literally just look out your window like, I could do it. In That's minutes. one set a night, and it could be 10 minutes easily. Mm-hmm. Like, because you're just like, hey, guys, give me 10 minutes <laughs> for a second. Hello. Yeah. As long as you don't run anybody out, it's it, it's that's a hard thing That'd to do. That'd be crazy be like, for someone to pack up their meal. Like, <laughs> hey, but shit happens, especially like if you start percolating on some stuff people don't like. It, it doesn't take very long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some he, people have that line where it's like, "All right, fuck this, check please." Like, and they'll do it with their eyes. They don't even have to say anything. Me and him uh, discussed it, and it's like, yeah, everybody has children there, so you do yeah. have to come in with like. Clean yeah, material. How much, really, how much clean material do you guys have? It's really hard because, like, what yeah. I think is funny is when something is is like pretty fucking extreme. I yeah, guess. yeah I, I understand so, that. I mean, obviously, it's a lot easier to make money when you have clean material. I mean, like, genuinely, I probably have like five minutes of good clean material. Man, like at best, I have at five best. minutes of material at just best. in general. But but it's, but that's important. Like Sinbad's one of my favorite comedians, and Sinbad's right. been really? clean his entire life. Not to say that you should only be clean, but there's an argument to be made. You know, sometimes you have to be a little bit more creative because you don't have that blue aspect to rely on. So, what do you think? So, my thought on dirty versus clean has always been like, I don't understand why that's. I I don't think they're different genres. I think that whether something like talks about pussies or has a cuss word in it doesn't make it a different kind of joke. True. True. Uh what dude the whole idea the whole idea is that families families want to be able to watch it yeah, together i know i yeah. i get that but i know i'm i'm yeah. saying i don't think you're catching what i'm saying well like okay my like my dad he turned on um the puppet guy or whatever like he turned on yeah, that special uh, because jeff, it's appropriate jeff yeah, yeah jeff dunham and and jeff dunham has been hella successful with that I yeah mean, you cannot dude, argue the, anything about that who's just, the food, who's the food clean, guy though. the fat food guy fat food guy a celebrity i mean a comedian guy fieri no, the Ralphie fat, May. 
He's a stand-up comedian, Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Oh, okay. oh well, he's, Dude, not he's bad. like the richest fucking comedian because he's clean. Like, yeah, he's funny families though. can watch him together without anything no, getting awkward. Yeah, yeah. I, agree, I agree with all that. But here's what I'm saying: he's I don't. Dad. Is he your dad? I, I, I can't do any of that though because I'm so stupid funny. and like unfunny that I have to go to like stealing well, and, so, and crime. Okay. Well, you still Pedophilia, we all just like yell pedophile, pedophile, pedophile. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, just scream that as loud as you can. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's people get mad that when I talk about like underage type yeah. of shit. But, well, the thing is, is like you can do it, but damn, you got to make sure it's polished. It's like politics. It's because you straight you straight up uh, said it was a good thing last night. Wait, when did I say it was a good thing? Well, I mean, he didn't say it was a good thing. He just said that. Wait, what are you talking about? He just said that. Um, <laughs> he just said that. Uh, Hold on, I'll remember the bit. You you you, you go, were talking about. You have, joke do, you're talking about. you have to deserve it, like as though they're like about uh, about, it, no. about whether or not you could be getting caught and deserving it. Robbing a bank, uh, yeah. comparing <laughs> comparing certain aspects of robbing a bank to that. Yeah. In regards to if you plan out the robbery, okay. you deserve to get it much more. <laughs> which which was a fair argument. He was not saying that you should do that. So I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I would, you know I I want to clarify. You know it was just. Talking about how it, first of all you deserve it. Go man. ahead. I forgot what I was gonna say. Wow. Second of all, um, it I didn't say it was a good thing. I said it's a bad thing. But the thing about it is, you gotta listen to the joke. That's, that's, what, I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> goes, if you, if you, you're just gonna give my ter- material. Uh, yeah. Take yeah, it, internet. So. Take it, void. <laughs> but the idea is that you kind of said like. As a girl, I would get mad at you, you know, if I was, like, trying to be serious, I would get mad at you afterwards. I'd be like, dude. Oh, well, what? Uh, well, not, not just a girl, but, like, there are certain people who would get mad about that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then second like, of all, I didn't say ped. I didn't say, it's not a pedophilia thing. I didn't say little kids. Like, like, if you can attract a child, no, I said, you deserve it. <laughs> no, I didn't say children. I'm not, it's not about children. You're okay? yeah. It's about, te- yeah, yeah. it's about teenagers. It's a teenager. Teenagers. A teeny bopper. I mean, I do think there's a the distinction mm-hmm. to be made. Huge distinction between yeah. being attracted to a teenager and yeah. a like, little kid. Come on. Yeah. And I think it's a shame that that distinction's not made more because it yeah. takes power away from people who actually are fucking pedophiles. Yeah, I, have a, I had a whole a bit about that. Like that uh, Jeffrey Epstein, when you look into it, she was only 14. Or she was just 14. No, all those girls like, were like that, like teenagers. Four, the like, young, it was one, and the youngest one, 14. Mm-hmm. And the rest are like 15, 16. Man, first of all, everybody's doing that. And second of, <laughs> all, <laughs> and second of all, you cannot even uh, trick or treat when you're 14. You try to trick or treat when you're 14, people are going to be like, you're not a kid. That's a good I point. Think I, no, I think I trick or treat when I was 14. I don't yeah, know. If, I, you, I, if you <laughs> can't get candy, you can get dick. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. That's a very good point. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. If they're when uh, uh, cherries uh, are ripe, they're ready for fucking. I mean, I, I, it's still like you know, I, <laughs> hell or wrong. Like, like you could argue under natural circumstances, but that shit ain't natural at all. That's what makes it wrong. It's like organized. You know? It isn't natural. What do you mean? Like, like I'm talking about like if you if you're at like some kind of fucking it's natural that's town. That's if you're at, if right. you're in some kind of small town and you know the population is is not that big and you got a 16 year old going out with a 22 year old, that might be more normal than say in in, in the middle of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Because that's more like environmentally dictated versus like mm-hmm. planning that. Do you yeah. understand? That's the distinction that I'm making. I'm not saying mm-hmm. that either is right. But it's definitely different. But my my big point is okay. I don't I don't think it's okay to like try to fuck with a sixteen year old. No. I think it's fucking weird to fuck with a twenty year old. Yeah, it's like, there's a big if, variation. If I were to go try to fuck with a twenty year old, I think that would be about as weird as a sixteen year old. But then and then I told you that right now I'm with a twenty two year old. He okay, was twenty one like a uh, over a week ago. He was twenty one. Right. And it's pretty weird, you know. They're they're young. Yeah, people. I think that's I think that's weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's kind of funny. There was an accident. I didn't know that he was that age. That's what they all said. I was, yeah, ah, yeah. I was, I was like, an accident. It was like an our accident. third, our third time together. Yeah, well, he I, was talking about something, and I was like, "How old are you?" Because like he was like so young about something. And I've I was got like, news for you, you though. I've got the yeah. transcripts of your online conversation, and uh, mm. uh, that's not true. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you did you say online? 
hey, I see you're only 21. I think that's hot as fuck. I really want to take your 21 year old virginity. And what was that about? Yeah, pancakes? Thank you. And what was that about pancakes? Oh something yeah, you said something. Pancakes, yeah, huh? something about pa- making him. pancakes with dinner or something. Yes. And so, there's a lot of insinuations. All right. <laughs> Did you say this shit? Huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna eat the food that your wife prepared for me. Are you um uh okay cool? Well I just it's good. The cops are out waiting for you outside. So look, well it was an accident and I can tell you <laughs> have any have any of y'all um accidentally been with somebody like a little too young once or anything? Or maybe too old, like my, my issue, yeah, my issue was the opposite. It was you know was, You were dude, I can feel it. I can feel it. Whoa! An, an older woman did something with you. I'm, I'm like, I, are, are we some kind of gypsy? How, how much gypsy are you? Because, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, I consider myself to be hella gypsy in a lot of regards. You're just giving what out those that vibes. Mean? How I'm much like, gypsy are like you? Like a psychic, I guess. I'm like, I can feel things. Yeah, you know? especially gypsy, gypsy. But gypsy women in specific have have more. If I was to guess, you were not harassed by an older woman at all <laughs> because and i'm because uh, uh you just seem like you, want to you seem so happy go lucky like nothing sketchy has ever happened <laughs> i just like nothing sketchy and has you ever happened seem to me. like <laughs> like somebody got sketchy with you i mean that's uh, i don't know if that's a fair tell thing. us that's, that's what happened i think it's more just i didn't sleep a lot yesterday and you, tell us what happened who was she i i don't know what you're talking about how I, old was she i'm like it, all right we're all gonna do all, all, all without getting too specific all i'm all i'm saying is is that there are two sides of the spectrum, and I can understand if it happens, it happens. But don't like force that shit and be weird about it. That's all. He's really defensive about this. I'm not. I'm not defensive about it. It's it's relative. All I'm saying is. Do you want to say the story of like how old you were and how old she was? No, it's it's, it's <laughs> not. It's not even relative. You're trying to put me on the spot. Trying to put some jam on my ham. You got. We have four spotlights on you. Okay, guys. Guys. Three spotlights. Guys. And one laptop. Guys. We're all gonna do our molestation stories right now. I think right? you're just trying to take the pressure off of Go you ahead, being so with a young dude. I, I can care less. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to. How much turn over here trying to? So go ahead. Do you have one? Take shit. No, I don't have a molest. Well, at all. Nah, man. I, oh yeah, I mean, so I molested this fucking girl. Nah. <laughs> Why are you? Are you, are, you about, are you about to throw down? With, are, you, are you gonna participate? In this no. Did somebody else like uh, get sketchy with you? No. At, that's so ever. <laughs> no, nah, man. What? Yeah, I don't, right. I'm not very desirable though, so that's not true. My mom still talks about it. It's the sweetest thing anybody's ever said. But so you guys, get this, <laughs> you guys getting this vaccine? You don't need it, right? But we've got. Our- yeah, he's not going to talk about the thing, so we'll move on. If you want it, if anytime, uh-huh. anytime you're ready to talk about it, <laughs> so yeah, the vaccine, I'll get it for sure. You, you don't need it. You already had the coronavirus. Well, if, it's all the if, same. If, if there's like a, if they'll send me money or whatever, yeah, I'll get the vaccine. They're not gonna give you money. They're gonna charge you for the vaccine. I don't think you get how it works. <laughs> you oh, gotta right. pay for it. Yeah, Donald Trump just said on his IG today it was gonna be free for everyone. Free for everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what's weird? That sounds too good to be true. You know yeah, what else? Yeah, there's is, no such thing as a free lunch. You're you, right. You know what else mm. is free for everyone? HIV. Yeah. <laughs> now you gotta work for that shit. Not necessarily. Well, I guess you gotta <laughs> find the circles where it's. Prevalent. I mean, have you ever had been fucked in the ass? That's some hard work. <laughs> yeah, you gotta work pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> you now you're gonna tell your ass fucking story now, okay? I, Are you ready yeah. to tell it? <laughs> That's what it feels like to be put on the spot. I I didn't commit to it though. I didn't commit to the uh, to being an asshole like you did. All right. Ah. <laughs> No one but, thinks you're an asshole. You know, I'm just, yeah, I'm just bringing out content. Like I did, I thought that I wanted to uh, have somebody put me in the ass one time, and uh, it it hurt so bad. Like at the very beginning, like I couldn't. I screamed, and it was traumatic. Have you guys made girls cry or scream or anything in that kind of scenario? If I like, how dark are we gonna? If go I say no, is that not, gonna make me seem like less I guess of a man? You're not allowed to say really anything <laughs> because nowadays it's very. Right <laughs> stop, bringing, stop bringing my <laughs> wife into this shit. She's st- sitting right there. Like, if you're gonna talk about her asshole, <laughs> I've never like screamed or anything during sex because it hurt. That's yeah. really great for you. <laughs> That's good. I'm just. Confirming. Me, All right, me, 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 from here, me, here me, right now, it doesn't hurt. I'm glad. I mean, it's uncomfortable for sure. It sucks, but I didn't scream. 
Is it ice, right there? ice cream all I the mean, time. There's a perfectly good vagina next door. So. Perfectly good not, vagina. Oh, I thought you were on like your neighbor. The neighbor, yeah. You know, go <laughs> fuck the neighbor. Stop bothering me. God. Yeah. That'd be pretty. Yeah. It takes a village, man. It takes a village. It takes I think a that's village what that means. to fuck a husband. I think that's what that means, man. In a gypsy village, that's how that works. They just all fuck each other. Yeah. Dude, the gypsies are weird. You know about the gypsies? So, sometimes they're weird. I mean, look, there are certain aspects of them. Everybody says, like, why do gypsies move around? It's because they're guilty, you know? Is that what it is? Yeah, but not because no, of they're a scam artists, right? I heard they're like, they. that's how they make Well, money Romanian expand. gypsies in specific, you could argue. It's it's like, that's almost bad for me to say that, Romanian gypsy. But, like, I, when I was in the pawn shop business, I dealt with them a lot. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Wow. Some of them are really good people. But uh, some of them, to your point, like they, they could be very you know misleading. And so they'd what be is counting that? money and start telling a story. Oh, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. shit like that. Just shortchange you. Yeah, you know, just just being a little, you know. But but I don't know. They they tend to be good people. I mean, do you, I like uh, do you ever talk to like good gypsies? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And they're like a straight up like they they don't furnish their houses, right? There's like a thing going on. Like I I don't mean like I've talked to gypsies who are straight up with me like. I don't know, like, a straight-up gypsy might be, like... I don't talk to... I've never really even met a gypsy. Have you? I've seen them in the wild before. I don't know what they... Somebody so, pointed them out one time, like, on the sidewalk, and I was like... What? There's, like, a big gypsy community in um, Augusta. Yeah, you've yeah. Been, I was, you ever been to Pendergrass? That's not even as far as Augusta. They have a big uh, collective where they bring, like, wolves, animals... Oh, uh, really? Oh, the, flea, the flea market, right? Pendergrass yeah, yeah, market. yeah. I heard yeah. about that. Dude, a there's a, yeah, shout yeah. out to Pinnacle's Free Market. Hell yeah, no, that place is awesome. You can get, I was just kidding, you can't get a wolf there. You can get a wolf there. You can totally get a wolf there, dude. <laughs> They'll tell you it's husky, but I don't know. <laughs> so it's pretty sketchy. But so they, so in Augusta, I used to see the gypsies every once in a while when I went, to, went over there, and they like wear these like prom dresses. And like they're really gaudy, like they do their hair really big. I've never, I've never seen that. You know what I mean? Well, like, you'll right. have your day. You'll have your day. Don't worry. You're still on the earth. Like, I'll, you'll I'll still like run point in their face. What? <laughs> Whoa! Finally, you'll just be like, finally, oh, gypsy. finally. And supposedly, like we were talking to the server at some restaurant, and they only order like a few. Uh, there's like four different things. And then, they and then like, like the, the stereotype is they'll get a couple remember. of low cost items and then they'll get like a lot of bread and they'll, and they they'll don't. tell you it's a table of 10 and they'll end up being 15 and there'll be lots of small children and they'll be asking. Man, we them. are I've fucking never seen slandering but, but that's, that's so the yeah, argument. That's the alleged argument. You know, they're wrong you know. people. They're like, they're like a burden yeah, on society. Yeah, just like the Chinese. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They're like causing problems. Not the Chinese Americans, but the Chinese. Well, we could, I mean, we could make a case for internment camps. Like, I don't feel bad about Amish people because they're minding their own business. They're eating organic food, you know, minding their own business. But gypsies come into your store and try to take your money. What's the deal with the style, you know? Have you seen an Amish person, know. though? They try to lie to you. Yeah, I went to um, the Amish country. And so you've really seen Amish people. But if you saw great. gypsies, you'd see there's some good gypsies, I promise. I don't know, man. The I an oxy, it's an oxymoron because gypsy is like a slur. I know, but it's like that's like not. that's like saying there aren't any good busters out there. You know what I'm saying? There's What's some a good bust? busters. What's out a there. It's like a buster, or a buster sucker fool, or you know, or like uh, you, you know, about? like, Where like are there we? are different <laughs> tiers. There are different tiers. You know, like uh, you know, like a buster sucker fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you could be like you could be like a, a, buster, like a buster or a buster sucker fool. They're a totally different thing. You know, is like, this is this some thing? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or you can be a buster. There's like uh, with an A, it's okay. With an R, it's like I fucking yeah. hate you. A buster sucker fool, that's terrible. A buster sucker fool, I don't know. You could be yeah, right. buster I fuck your mother. Be a word. Like, is this like? Thing. Is, have, have you heard somebody say, "Hey, what's going on, Buster?" A Bugs Bunny. Maybe. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's the second that's time. You should probably like scoot, scoot up, up a little bit. It'd be more in the shot. That or like I don't know. That's how you get over hangovers. You just beat the fuck up out of it. We were just talking about this. He he was fighting. Yeah. And that's how he got over his hangover. And she's just hitting the shit out of her head on the corner. Yeah. I woke up. I had a hangover. Good strategy. Good strategy. Got my ass beat by uh, Dominic Colangelo, future lightweight champion of the world. Uh, He was on the podcast. He's uh, actually he's the only he's a dominatrix. That should be his uh, state not stage name fighting nickname. Dominic, the dominatrix. Yeah, he'd come out there and like, yeah, kind of black. Just, it doesn't have to be too much. Yeah. It can be yeah. so. He, he's actually, you're not the first COVID survivor to be on the podcast. Wow. Because he was you're not uh, special. Sorry, was he lying, though? He sounds like he's kind of a liar. How does that sound like a liar? You know, what, like what kind of, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Uh, sorry. If he, if he can. Did if, he have proof? Like I put proof. I put my um, test results online. Why are you shouting? I don't know, but I'll ask. <laughs> why are you, why are you, 
What? Like cooling your head off. I feel like I get. Are you stressed out? When I sometimes I when I drink, my face gets warm. <laughs> All right. There was a certain type of alcohol that I I was uh, allergic to, and it made my shit break out one time, and I felt it's, like well, it's a histamine, right? That's what you it is. You felt like an Asian. It's a histamine. It's possible. I heard that if you that. if you get fucked off up uh, really bad off a of red wine. Oh, that's like a genetic thing. I didn't think about that. I could I could see that. No, I I'm a little Asian because my face I get the Asian flush. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish I was a little bit Asian. Why? I don't know. No kung fu. Because then maybe I'd have like contacts in the rubber business. Maybe Malaysian. I got the rubber business. I got confused. I think, I think <laughs> I meant Malaysian. <laughs> what the fuck is rubber? Wait, isn't that what the war was fought over? Dude, hell yeah, yeah, man! Yeah, st are. They still got rubber there, man. Yeah. It's still all about Malaysian. Man. Come on, man. We gotta get the rubber back. Let's start the Vietnam yeah. War back up again. We gotta get don't the do rubber. That. Don't Dude, do that. I never knew that. Huh? Don't do that. Don't I just never knew that. Back. Why not, man? Let's man, because it. I don't know, man. War seems what are you terrible. a pussy? Something you're not gonna you're not gonna enlist, <sighs> Dad. Only if somebody, <laughs> only if somebody's like trying to percolate on your shit. I don't even. Like, I don't even like rubber. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know. I like, like tires and shit. Like I like my car. Yeah, I like retired tires. tires out there. Like Dude, so but like tires. not not good enough tires. Like how how you recycle a tire? Who the fuck's recycling the tire? What are you doing with that They're shit? They're all over the place. Like, they they no make like shredded rubber for gun ranges. That's the only time I've seen it used. Like, what, what are you going to do with the recycled tire? Dude, you, did you bring you any guns? Car, you make the carpet padding out of it. You make astroturf out of it. That's good. I like football. Yeah, so. playgrounds. Yeah, you make all that shit. I'm a big it. fan of playgrounds as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, talk, speaking of the vaccine, so it's like, tr for whatever reason, Trump and Fox News are the only people that I've heard talking about the vaccine for some reason. Yeah, I mean it's 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 probably one of those things like nobody wants it to be good until somebody's good and then everything will be good. Well, you know. it's I'm saying it's like I think <laughs> it's like a, that you a, just said that. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I think it's like a partisan thing though, you know. I mean, like this coronavirus fucking like, shit's always been partisan. It's always Did been Did you even watch CNN? Yeah, no, I watch I've watched CNN. Yeah, I've seen CNN. So then you're like Fox News is the only people I hear talking about this. No, I don't watch CNN. Well, no, I don't watch either. I, I just watch get CNN. I watch both. I hate everything. I just get notifications on my phone about shit. Yeah. And the only one that popped up, like I, I do get notifications from CNN on my phone. Dude, it actually, like, I, I do have an opinion, like a lot, I have, like an emotion about that. People who refuse to take the vaccine or whatever, like I get it, but we literally been talking about wanting a vaccine. But but but, but what about, so what about within reason? What about within reason though? Like, I don't want to take the first round. Like, give me the second round. Yeah, I'll then. just take it. I don't even care. You don't even fucking need it. Like everybody's depressed, take the damn vaccine. But like, you're gonna be depressed yeah. regardless of the vaccine. Yeah, so just take. So why so are you taking the vaccine? Here's here's what I'm gonna say about it. I know somebody the second who one. is in the medical field. I'm not gonna say who they are. Like, they <laughs> no know, name dropping. No they're name medical. Name. They know about medicine. They went to school for medicine, and they they were like, oh yeah, I respect. Education. All, all I'm saying is they this is their area. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, fair enough. And they were like, um. I'm not taking that vaccine. I was like, really? Why? And they were like, let me put it this way. The fastest a vaccine has ever been developed and approved is five years. That's the fastest. We this one Because they're, they're never in a hurry. This one took nine months. They're never, this is yeah. modern age. Okay, yeah, they're, they're in a hurry. hurry. They're, you want to take some rest? I thought, I thought Ebola bullshit. was like three and a half years, but that's still a lot longer than what we're talking about nine months. They have an Ebola vaccine? Yeah, no, when, dude, when, they, when Ebola, they did Ebola. Think, Ebola like, hit. Years. We didn't care. Man, that and then somebody, hit, came man. To the, you, somebody came to the you U.S. Shit. with Ebola, <laughs> and we cared, and we got a vaccine within like a week. No, no. Wait, wait, I think it was like three and a half years. We can Google that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like, pretty sure it was like three and a half years. Upon the time that that but pretty that sure guy it was like three in and Texas. Half years, <laughs> pretty sure, though. I got a good feeling. As soon as the guy emotion. in Texas. No, bitch. As I'm like, who, somebody behind me? What if somebody called you, bitch? Is somebody behind me? Would you be okay <laughs> with that? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can call me, bitch. That's All right. Fair, That's fair. It's on, That's man. fair. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to, but, you know, that is fair. You can yell it out any time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not necessary. All I'm saying is, is that it is, you could argue that it is suspect, but you could also argue that some of the red tape was cut through. But maybe that means it's not as safe. I don't know. Like I said, the second round. I think the second round will be straight, right? I did hear that the Pfizer one, there was some issue if you have some type of allergic reactions, which I never have had, thankfully. Wouldn't that really suck to like, you're like, all right, let me go drive over and get the vaccine. And, make sure and then there's like side effects. And you're like, yeah. you know what would that? really be suck? terrible? Exactly. Yeah. You know what would really suck? It would suck if the <clears> vaccine <throat> just fucked everybody up and that was the real 
apocalypse. Yes, yes. Just like um, with that Will Smith movie. Yeah, it's going to be like the Will Smith that. movie. It's going to be just like that. that was fast, like, the fast zombies, dude. I can't fuck with the fast zombies. I'm sorry, dude. The yeah. fast zombies, Walking Dead is fine. You might get the occasional one that just got turned recently and still has nutrients and is a runner. Yeah. But, dude, I'm telling you, the oh, fast yeah. ones are too, they're too much, man. They're too yeah. much. I like the glasses. Now. Thank you. We do need a lot of people to die for like climate change reasons. Oh my God. No, that's and not, so, that's, that's no, we need to invest in education because of climate change reasons. We need to invest in young people getting yeah. smarter because young people are getting innovative with better and better ideas. We don't need to invest in giving money to people. Money doesn't fix it. Innovation fixes it. Also, you need to, yeah, stop like growing the population. No, no, you could still grow the population. I, I, yeah, you oh, seem like Lord. somebody you want four kids, don't you? No, mm-hmm. I just I just understand that like right now is one of the best times ever in the history of humanity if you want to have kids to do it in regards to poverty, in regards to disease, in regards yeah. to you know quality of living, you know, food, uh, I don't know, all the things that fucking matter, you know. So I'm not saying you owe it, but in certain respects, if you want to do it, do it and do it well. There's no reason yeah. not to, just because of this uh, this argument of like the, what's next? The permafrost. Uh, you know, I, I thought we had seven years, 12 years ago. I'm not here to say that there's not a bad human environmental interaction. Of course there is. But you have to, like, do what you can do. You can't just harm people's livelihoods based off of false narratives. You heard it from just, Tony Perez. I'm just saying it's it's the reality. Like California, for example. California is fascinating. All right. These people are uh, allegedly forward thinking people. And they just recently legislated the closing down of one of their last nuclear power plants. And they just opened back up two coal power plants. How in the does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Fuck on this I mean, that doesn't make okay. Well, I didn't, you know, I don't know if we're FAA or whatever the hell, but I mean, I mean, like, does that make dude, any sense? Don't put it. If we're nuclear, gonna get political, don't if we're put gonna a get nuclear political. power plant political. on a fault line where earthquakes happen. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I, I, I certainly understand that. But once you start a nuclear reactor, it's still a danger regardless. Even when you shut it down, if an if an earthquake oh, yeah. happens, that's still going to be a big fucking danger. So you already did it. You might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, I'm like, I, the mood I'm in does not want to talk about nuclear reactors. We don't have to. That's like fine. Too, That's too fine. Much. We got it. We, we, I'm just saying, if you want to get to the nitty gritty about man-made climate change or climate change, I think the argument yeah. is there. You know that nitty gritty actually, um, it's a phrase that uh, the origin of the phrase is racist. <laughs> really? No, I'm just fucking around. What the <laughs> Thank fuck? you. Thank you. I was like, <laughs> no, they ruined everything. <laughs> They ruin everything. First of all, the origin of every phrase could probably be racist. That would be great yeah. to find out. Yeah. That, like everything is like based on a racist yeah. situation. It is because this country was founded on racism, and the only re- reason that English is such a dominant language in the world is because of this country. Hell yeah! We're like, you want to do business with us? You're going to speak our language. It's as simple as that. And you have to be racist. I think it helps if you want to. I think do it helps with us. I feel like it was Paris Hilton that that really got us to the top of like a uh, global culture, you know? Paris. <laughs> yeah. Paris I agree with you hundred percent. Yeah. What is it that I don't know about Paris Hilton? And Fergie is the best rapper alive. <laughs> but like, yo, wouldn't, if you were a rapper, wouldn't you name yourself Nitty Gritty? Amazing. It's a pretty good name. That's a great name. I like that it. Is a good I like it more than the baby, but the baby is still pretty fucking hard though. Like the baby and baby and young baby. Yeah. It's still kind of hard though. It's yeah. like, it's not as hard as like clown baby. A you know, little always sunny reference there. Fucking, you know, baby clown is totally different than a clown. Baby. Imagine him explaining his name. You're like, so why'd you pick the baby? He's like, just because you know, it's like I'm the baby. You know, <laughs> that I was the youngest. Like, yeah, somebody else was the baby, and I was like, I'm, I'm the baby. You know, I was like, oh yeah. shit, for real. <laughs> I'm having to check. My it. my right name's gonna be a little fentanyl. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> all right. I, like I was Crisis Hussein last year. Crisis Hussein, where? Just like around, around town. <laughs> She's like, people were calling me that. I was driving by, yo, Christ is insane. Yeah. Were you like uh, doing rap? Were you in the, or in the rap? Game? I was like hanging out with, we had a um, radio show and the co host was a, god damn it, like a rapper from the 90s. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay right? right now. Yeah, it was probably a, probably a, uh, yeah, probably a, uh, and uh, <laughs> ladies love cool J. That's what L by the way, LL Bean, ladies love Bean is what that stands for. Oh, <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> is that is, yeah, is that is that true? Huh? No, I don't know what LL Bean stands no, for. No, that would make sense. All right, cover for me, but I'll be right. BRB, see you, Dad. Um, so Tesla, uh, oh no, we're, we're gonna talk more about <laughs> energy. No, all right, no, do you want to talk yeah. about Tesla? You like Teslas? 
Yeah. Well, they, they stopped producing Model S and Model X. Why? Because it's an old like a uh, model, so they're mm. they just stopped now. They're about to stop in a couple of weeks or whatever. <laughs> could could be the future. The only thing that I don't like about them is they have like twenty five batteries in them. That's Dude, a it's a lot of no. It's it's one giant battery with like a lot of uh. It's a lot of rare cells. earth metals. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, lithium. Yeah. That shit. Like when you retire a car, mm -hmm. shit's gonna be in the graveyard of cars, and it's gonna be leaking a lot of fucking shit because of how much battery is in there. It's just like not good. It's like why would you want to like think about if we sold as many Teslas as we did Ford F-150s for like ten years, all of the Teslas that would be. In fucking junkyards, leaking all the battery acid and everything else, not just into the ground, but just into the atmosphere. All that terrible ass shit. How is that like better for the environment? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. In it's, the long run, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. You sound like somebody who hasn't driven a Tesla. I have absolutely driven a Tesla. Okay. <laughs> and they're very fast. But yeah. I'm just saying, if you're talking about it from a green perspective, it's not, to me, it doesn't make any sense. I think it's neat. I think it's quick, but it doesn't make any goddamn sense for to help the earth. How long do the batteries last? 10 years? I mean, I don't even know who works on Tesla. And it's expensive Tesla. to replace it, right? It's like 10 grand. You have to buy the whole car. That's See, that's see, crazy. That's kind of wasteful, too. That, how, that's what I'm saying, though. How's that? And where do those batteries go? Straight to a fucking junk car. Go right away and fucking open up and make some Man. fucking squirrel with three eyes, <laughs> which is actually pretty fucking cool. Like the Simpsons. How much is, like, a Tesla? You thirty thirty nine dollars uh, $39,000. $39. She's like, right? I'm buying a Tesla. <laughs> I won't buy one. I wouldn't buy one either. I would get like a Ford Bronco. Yeah, that'd be dope. That shit is tight with White. the Eco Boost. There was one around here that looks just like the OJ one. Is you it is it? it just a gas car? Um, yeah, yes. it's a gas car. So <laughs> like, what are you doing? Car. You have to have fifty percent of uh, cars in the UK have to be electric by twenty thirty. Where the UK? Yeah. They literally this. made that yeah. law. Yeah, no, they, and they've they've been make, they've been curbing it. There's a reason why Ford doesn't make the Crown Vic anymore. They've been curbing it. You know, they've been making it so you have to have certain standards and it's getting more and more strict. So as time goes on, it will eventually be like that. But I'm going to enjoy it while we can. Our when, I'm at a, when I'm in a Tesla supercharger charging my vehicle, yeah, I'm hanging out with rich people. <laughs> we're smoking cigars. Why? Well, actually, I like cigars. So but when I'm at a gas station filling up my tank. Oh, my God. Don't hang on a gas <laughs> station. Homeless people. I fuck, with gas stations. For money. I fuck with gas stations. <laughs> like, I, I'll go to a sit-go at 2 in the morning tonight just to spite what you're talking about. Like, no, oh, gas stations are gas stations. Would it, like, hang out in there? Maybe. Maybe. Because yeah. it's a culture. It's the American culture. Our That's roads true. are wider than it's their an, roads. Our cars are bigger than their roads. In there. If you can't get into the club, go to the gas could station be. in the hood. Could be. And that's like the club, basically. Yeah, if you're, yeah. If you're in the hood <laughs> enough, you can, you can ask people. It's going to be, you. you're going to have, uh, you know, music thumping over there. Hey, what's going be on, man? Yeah, the Union City racetrack is real dope. Shout out to Union City oh, racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> people, <laughs> people drinking out in the fucking uh, parking lot. They have lot. all the Flaming Hot products there. That, I mean, what more flaming can you ask? Cheetos. Yeah. What more can you ask? I'm a big Sour Patch Watermelons guy. I like Sour Patch Watermelons, especially when they're in season. You know what I'm saying? When it's like really soft, it's really season. fucking good. Really fucking good. Sour Patch Kids, you mean? No, no, no. Sour Patch Watermelons. How do you, how do you, you know how to pick out a good Sour, Sour Patch Watermelons? Watermelons versions of those. They're much, yeah, I mean, you, well, you got to grab the bag. It's almost like picking out produce. You grab the bag. People look at you kind of funny sometimes. But you, just, yeah. you grab the bag, you feel it, and you're like, hmm, all right. I like to thump it. Yeah. Hey, teach their own. Everybody has yeah. a method. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a method. But that was like my thing, man. Sour Patch Watermelons and like Jack Daniels, that's like. <laughs> High school, like, because you got do you sugar and more sugar. You put them in, in? yeah. No, you yeah. just chase it with it's like you just take drink. shots and then you eat the sour patch oh. watermelons. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. You ever it's have you ever good. drank uh, purple drink? Absolutely, I want to. You have? Are you talking about uh, like uh, codeine? Yeah, like codeine syrup. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh man, oh, you should have brought yeah. some by. Um, I yeah, put skittles down. No, but that was like a long, long, long time ago. I just mean like, yeah. I, I mean, everybody should try it maybe like once. I need yeah. to try. But wait till you're like 21 and your brain develops. Your brain's not developed at that. I know, but it's more developed. You, you, you do. You, you get wait more. until you're past like whether or not you have schizophrenia. That's 25. But that's too yeah, long. Yeah, dude. You need to long. talk to people about that more often. That's too long. Don't take a bunch of LSD and like wander hey, through the streets. But we can do that shit to you too, until though. you're sure you're not. Yeah, that's how I got my dog because my cousin's crazy. That shit. Yeah, we can do yeah. that shit to you. If you, it, you know, it can make you turn a certain kind of way. That's why legalization is interesting. I'm more into decriminalization. As someone who's been arrested many times for marijuana, I think it's fascinating how many futures you can ruin. I did fucking literal, uh, what do you call it? This 
what do you call it when you do free service for the county because you get in trouble? Community, community, community service. service. Community I service. did a community service at Briscoe Park in Snellville, all right? It was like 120 hours, all right? They had me roofing. They roofing. had me doing shit with roofing. electricity. Yes, because I was with this guy, and he was like, he was like this uh, maintenance guy. And he just like took a liking to me and he had me on all his fucking special projects. So literally I was roofing on one of the days. I was doing electricity on one of the days. We were doing plumbing. Mm -hmm. Now he was just, he was just an old, old dude. But the point that I'm making is when I finished doing all of that, I couldn't be a roofer because I, because of my marijuana drive. They didn't want somebody who had a marijuana. Do, I could do it now, be a but, but I'm saying things have changed. I mean, you're literally talking about 10 years ago versus right now. Things are very different. The, the yeah, things that I got arrested true. for now, people would laugh. They'd be like, Go home, you know. <laughs> but before it was like, get your ass on the ground. Like it was a different time. Yeah. People understand things have changed. It's very different. It would be so awkward to like have a chill like interaction with the police, and then suddenly they just see a little bit of weed, <laughs> and they're like, and they like flip. That would be yeah, really weird. It would be. It would be. You'd be like, no, relax. Like mm. oh, here, we'll, we'll right. Get rid of it. No big deal. Right. Like please take this, please. But that's never the way that it happens. That's never that. Normally, it's them like finding something, being like, "You see this?" They're like blowing on the nick check. Those nick checks, the things that they do on the roadsides, they're like fifty percent effective. That shit will sometimes go in oxygen. Like you open it, and it's supposed to tell you whether it's weed or not. Do you want to defund the police? No, absolutely not. Okay. I just think it's uh, certain methods mm -hmm. like that. I thankfully aren't being used the way they were. Now, when they come out with a way to accurately judge how high you are. Pfft, Kind of fucking Dude, I went out on a date with the police <laughs> you know in New York I mean? to do research because yeah. I, I wanted to like ask him questions and get information. But all he wanted to talk about was flowers. <laughs> For two hours, it was terrible. <laughs> flowers? He was like, no, I just really love the moon and like different flowers. Was he in the flower like, business flowers. or something? No, he just... He was a police officer that liked. He just the, really wanted an escape. He liked the moon. Yeah, flowers. I wanted to be, I wanted to like get into like what's going on, like, you know, how is it? To no. be a police officer, yeah. He doesn't want to talk about that shit on his no. day off. Hell no. He well, dude, I'm not dating. I'm not on a date with you for no reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> duh. Like, what Come do you on. think this is? Uh, bitch? Make something up. Yeah. So. God bless you. <laughs> talk about fucking flowers and shit. Dude, I would, I would, I was about to be the only person going in and getting an inside story. Nobody else tried to do that. Everyone's talking about police, and nobody's talking to police. I talked to them. Mm. Get yeah. off. Yeah, I, what? I respect that. And get off? Yeah, like I just never get like never harassed. Arrested. I usually just like they just let me go. Yeah, because I'm really nice to them whenever they pull me over or whatever. Yeah, me too. And so they it like helps, helps. they want to. I'm nice to them yeah. too. They don't. They they don't like to. They <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> Dude, I would give you a ticket so fast. You would no, give me a ticket. Tell them the yeah. story about uh, the police that one time. What? When I was in the back seat. Oh yeah, I got pulled over and fucking Arlene was just sleeping in the back seat, and then he like he made me get out of the car and he's like, "Who's that in the back seat?" She's like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, is she dead? Yeah. yeah, I was like, it's my girlfriend, and then he was like, "I don't believe it's your girlfriend because if that was your girlfriend, I don't think she would be in the back seat." <laughs> uh, wow. So what did damn. you think it was then? I have no idea. Well, I was <laughs> a kidnapping situation. Yeah, you're like on the floor in the back. I was seat. wearing a onesie that uh. <laughs> that um, American flag onesie, and I had a pink backpack. <laughs> and so I looked like that. I think he thought I was like a kid. Oh, <laughs> because shit. I had this pink backpack and a onesie on. I was sitting oh, yeah, in the back seat. Yeah. yeah. Damn, what we got? T Bone. That's kind of raw. Is that your nickname, T Bone? T Bone, it, it, it's one of many nicknames. I've had I've had a lot of great nicknames. There's so many All right, we got, uh, I don't know why. We got, T, we got a T Bone uh, comment. Yeah, but that's all he said, you know. T-Bone. Oh, that you know, that might actually he be said my dad. T-Bone and T-Bird. Oh, that's my dad. That's, that's my dad, that Eli. Like Shout that. out to my dad, Eli. He's like my pseudo uh, life manager. Is he your real right, dad? He could dad. be. No, he's not my real dad. Okay. He's not actually my real dad. But I mean, I have a lot of dads. It takes a really yeah, you said er weird. yeah, you said earlier somebody was your dad who was like a celebrity or something we were talking But about. he actually might have been my dad, Jim Gaffigan. He actually yeah, might be there. I love Jim Gaffigan. But it's possible. I mean, it's possible, so. Oh, because you don't know who your real dad is? No, but I just mean it's even if I did know who my real dad I mean I still Do think you know who your dad is? I mean, like that's a that's a relative question, you know. So, uh, then they of course dads. I know who my dad is, but like I have I have like one father, but I have like, a lot of dads. I'm not your dad. So well no, no. And you're not. Josh is not your dad either. Josh is my dad, absolutely. 
Are you why kidding? Can't, why can't she be your dad? I'm not saying she can. I'm just saying he doesn't not. want me to be his dad because no. that it's not Dude, a gender I, thing. I I'll point, wake you up. I'll wake you up aggressively in the morning. She's abusive. I mean, she's yeah. abusive it doesn't father. sound. Like she'll, does. she'll whip you. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. But I, I mean, it could be productive. You, you have know? to put this mask on. Yeah, you need. <laughs> <a straight guy. laughs> I would have to in order to live, because sometimes when you have. People who are aggressive like that, you just have to go along with it until you can escape, you know? I think that's the Real best talk. way to be with your, with your kid, though, is to be aggressive. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so they don't live in your house forever. That's true, though. That They'll is be like, true. I'm going to beat your ass yeah. out of here yeah. by 13... Yeah, I'm about to say 13, 13... 13, 13, 13, 13 get the fuck you know, out of my house. 15 years old, you're just like, I'm... All right, see you later. You know? like, there's just that so is a good many, point. Like, there's just so this many 30 somethings that are like living dude, at home. Dude, that's kind of raw, dude. If somebody broke into my house with this shit, <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd be like, this is a raw dog. Look at this shit. It's a luchador mask. My God. Yeah, I you my say God. that, but it could be like a, you put some a skeleton face on, it's Dia de los Muertos mask. That shit is raw, dude. I told my coworker <laughs> yes, to beat so. his kid. Huh? I told my coworker to beat his kid up. I bet. So you, so you advocate for child. Well, that's fair. My right? own form of child abuse is good. Just a little bit, just enough to just it, enough to you get teach them going. respect. You got to teach yeah. them respect, right? Just to get them out Dude, of the house. Dude, I can't that. Yeah, <laughs> that would break me. What if my parents hit me or, or something? It would break me. I'd be done. My dad slapped me so hard it busted my eardrum. <laughs> All <laughs> right, I was like the That's only terrible. time my dad like raised it. Oh well, head. that was a hey, I live at home. Television for the smart That's, hearted. Well, it worked. To your point, it worked. <laughs> it worked. I got the fuck out. Uh, and I, and you're getting a lot of hearts for that. Uh, <laughs> I live at home, and like sometimes they question it. Your parents? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, there's a national crisis. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're still doing mics and shit, though, right? That's one thing I wanted to talk about. There's still some comics who are like talking. Talking about like if you're doing mics right now, yeah, you're being irresponsible and it's not okay. Who's been saying that? Well, there's, you don't have to. People. You don't have to name drop, but I, I, yeah. I, I don't percolate enough on social media to see all that. But that's crazy. That's yeah. There's a lot of people. Well, like why? That. Who cares? Officially, it's, it's, it's the wrong. Yeah, officially. Well, what the uh, the idea is, even if you're not afraid, you're gonna get sick. You're gonna spread it to somebody else. I've been vocal about my thoughts, and I know that you disagree. I understand, but I've been vocal since before Who, the me? pandemic. I disagree. Oh. What it well, you don't I'm know about if to I tell you. You don't know if I disagree. You Continue. do disagree because we already talked about this. Uh -oh. I've been vocal since way before the pandemic that I believe truly that there's an overpopulation of people on Earth. Okay. Well, and yeah, so when everyone's with talking about, oh, my fat cousin might <laughs> might die. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, yeah. Who gives a shit about your fat yeah. fucking cousin, man? But like, it's a culling of old people. It's, it's cool. really cool. Like they but have, you they say that, but it's like, do you not have any old people that you care about that maybe really, you would like for maybe oh, five dude, more years? My yeah. father, I don't yeah. think, should be part of, like, when I say that a lot of people need to die, I don't think my father does. And so, sure, when he was sick, I was caring for him. Sure, sure. But, like, I'm going, like, if, I don't, if I'm not connecting to you and stuff, it's like, yeah, 80% of the population is... Is part of the overpopulation and kind of like if you you think you think we need to take out eighty percent of the population if you can't survive <laughs> if you can't survive <laughs> fucking a if you can't Woo. do it dude some people are fat like some people are absolutely fat. but some people are good some people, people who are, are fat there's a lot of good people who are fat just because you're fat doesn't yeah. make you a bad person it shouldn't be a death sentence and it's yeah. an inevitable death sentence. But it shouldn't be an instantaneous. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. I mean, just lose weight. I, right? I'm not saying you're doing yeah. it. We're just, we're just theorizing. Like, but I know you're like loving, and you don't. No, the, that's no it doesn't mean that I'm loving. I'm just a realist, and I think that you know the notion that overpopulation. What's the so number? Then, so who then decides the number? Let me start. Let me start. Who decides the number? Who, what, what number of people should be here? What nature. number is right? I'm just nature. curious. How much is enough? How do we know 80% is enough? Are you yeah. sure 90% is enough? Where, where, do we, where do we start? Where do we Climate end? Climate change scientists. I think uh, whatever. Climate um, change scientists don't know that, and that's my point. <laughs> Bill Burr agrees with me, and that's all I need. Mean. Oh, my Lord. Bill Burr's my dad. And, Bill Burr. Uh, you know, so your dad agrees with me, I, I, I'm not sure. My, my dad has a lot of interesting views. Maybe me and him disagree. On Remember that. Bill Burr? He, he did a special before the pandemic. He goes, um, the way that I'm going to kill 80% of the population if yeah. I was a leader is I put them on cruise. They would go on cruise ships and kill cruise everybody. Ships. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the pandemic was hitting cruise ships. I, I thought about that actually. When yeah. I, when he, I thought about that joke when it was hitting cruise ships. I bet he still doesn't care because that's funny. And that's how it should be. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, so then why did you guys go out? Why did I go out? What's your thing? Because my thing is I genuinely hope that people die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> to a certain extent. All right, you've that's, heard it here from television for the smart card. That's terrible. Official. That's terrible. God bless you. That's so. Terrible. I mean, sorry. I I will say. And then what's y'all? As, like, well, just, just I need I just need to address something just because you know this that's what you said something kind of controversial and this is a podcast that represents. I mean, I I, I just I just want to make it clear that yeah. that is the television for the smart hearted official stance. <laughs> That we hope people die. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Every request. Of what? What does that mean? Like, talk about the Cuban Revolution. <laughs> Man, get that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's probably one of my. There are more rural areas than cities. <laughs> that's my dad. Yeah, no shit. That's my other dad. <laughs> Imagine that's saying that. Dad. <laughs> like, but I'm, what is your thing? Why I'm just. Did, I'm not around people. Out? I'm not. I'm not around anybody who's old or going to die. So you because don't of care. That. You don't care about no, no, somebody no. dying. No, you're not understanding. Uh-huh. I. I intentionally. The the people whom are out obviously are making their own decision, right? And the people who aren't out, the old people that I know who I care about, I won't see. Or if I see, what about I'll be my outside. old people? Do you care about them? Obviously, you're making that decision for them. That has nothing to do with me. Uh, no, that's if, your if you had COVID on you, but, but you would again, that's it to that's guys. And then but again, guys, guys, that's guys, your decision, yeah. guys. We're talking about accountability, <laughs> guys. Thank you for coming by. Oh, yeah, I, I really for appreciate it. What about We're talking about accountability. Everybody has their own decision to make. Is my point. Yeah. And if if I decide to be around all of you and then I go be around old people, I think that's a terrible decision. So instead, mm-hmm. I'll be around you and not be around old people. Do you understand I just, what I'm saying? I just avoid them. We all never are around old people. Well, that's fair. That's totally <laughs> like, fair. So I celebrated my grandma's 90th birthday with her. And when I saw her, she said, do we hug? And you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not it like that. Yeah. And I said, uh, it's up to you. And then she gave me a hug. She didn't care. She's 90. Which so, is fair. It's like if she's. If she's yeah, down, if thing. she's fine with it. Might sure. be her might be her last birthday. You want to live your last birthday not hugging your fucking grandson? And that's exactly that's why it's a case by case basis. Everybody they, has their own decisions to make in that regard. It's it's have you ever taken a plane? You're Dude. looking out the plane and there is mostly nothing when you look out of the window. Talking what the, about- why are you fucking talking about it being rural? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh no, I know what he's saying. He's saying that um it we we don't have an overpopulation problem. Because there's so much open space, I and I, I agree. No, so here's the thing: there is space. I've what I've, I've heard, you could fit the entire Earth's population within the state of Texas. Let me ask a question then: Where are the buffalo at? We still have buffalo. What the fuck are you talking about buffalo? We still have buffalo. There's not enough food. They're in Utah. No, they killed know. them. I they killed them. all the buffalo. You know there. You know there's not the so population of buffalo in Yellowstone is the highest it's been ever. Man, bitch, don't even try me. I, I, don't try me. I'm a nature I guy. Saw, I dig nature. I, I dig nature. I, I watch the same documentary, but I listen. Yeah. They, they said they, 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 they were following a um small herd, and they go, "This is one of the last <laughs> wild herds." That's Cities what they said. Are overpopulated. That's what the dude said. No, okay, so it's not a space Buffalo issue. Buffalo wild wings. There you go. <laughs> yes. Hit us up, Buffalo Wild Wings. Too much Buffalo Wild Wings, wild wings no, not enough buffaloes. Bu- no, Buffalo Wild Wings should sponsor this podcast. Absolutely. Buffalo Wild Wings, That's if true. you're out there, we need your money. Um, It's not an overpopulation problem. No, it's not a, a space problem. I it's care a, about the buffalo. I care about the mating of the, of the buffalo. Wait, why do I go out? Yeah. I Didn't I sing you my song yesterday? It was a great song. Um, I forgot it. Oh, the manifest destiny. No, I didn't. I'd sing that. That was that was yeah. a good song. Hey, man, oh, uh, that's who I was talking to. Manifest destiny. <laughs> yes. Let's pretend like I didn't smash it. No, that was good. That was good. I really. Um. Enjoyed it. The, no, okay. This coronavirus song. Uh, let's get coronavirus and give it to our grandmas. They're all gonna die just as well. We'll quarantine the beauty queens with immune deficiencies and let the fat ass pigs rest in hell. That sums up my my stance. Yeah, so then you agree with me. <laughs> no, okay, here's, here's what I think. <laughs> yeah. You want to know what I fucking think? Uh-oh, hot take. Here's what I think. And I thought this shit from the fucking very beginning. I think this whole fucking thing is media hype. Mm-hmm. I think they're hyping up this fucking virus. People die from all kinds of motherfucking shit. There's different kinds of viruses and colds and shit that, go, that are developed every year. Isn't it kind of a motherfucking coincidence that 
we have had the best economy in like so many fucking years ever. And then right before the fucking election happens, right before there's this fucking worldwide pandemic fucking shit that's going to like, and, and that's the only reason that any, that we would ever just shut down everything. And then the, the economy tanks. And then all of a sudden, and then what happens after that race, riot, race riots happen. And then fucking there's all this like pull, like vote, vote, vote. And then Trump's out of office. Is it a coincidence? If, if they well, keep texting, really good though. I got 7% RLE last year. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm jealous. I don't have a 401k, but I'm going to get one. Okay. I'm going to get one. I'll sell you one. It's I'll getting get a, a little I'll, late, huh? I'll get a Roth what? IRA, too. It's getting late for you to get a 401k. Is it? Well, I'm not, I'm not that old. I'm not that old. I'm like, I'm not 58. You you can get a, you can get a 401k. You just got to get with the company that offers it. Yeah, or at least a Roth IRA. We could, we could open that up. Yeah, it's never too late, okay? It's never too late to follow your you dreams. You know what, though? What COVID is killing is not the stock, stock market. It is small businesses. That's Absolutely. true. All that, the, is, that is who's yeah. fucking stuff. All the fucking uh, big businesses did better. Exactly. Walmart, Amazon, all that shit did better. All the fucking small businesses are closing. My yeah. fucking jujitsu school that I've been going to, shout out to World Jiu-Jitsu Academy, for fucking since 2012, I don't know, man. It's, it's struggling right now, you know. Do you know Stefan? Stefan, who I don't know. Um, he goes to that academy. World He's, Jiu Jitsu Academy. Yeah, or he used sure? to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Stefan, what's Stephane? his last name? Um, what does he look like? Light skinned black dude. I don't know. I don't. Think, now we don't have any. I don't blacks remember his last there. name. Ah, this guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> have you ever had a black person? Now? Yeah, yeah. We got we have black. People. I'm just joking. With, like who? Mona. <laughs> <laughs> no, there have been people. There have been black people there. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> what? That's a good time to cheers. Yeah, that's a good time. <laughs> thank, thank, thank God for for blacks. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's a positive thing. Right? It is. I think, yeah, it's, is that, it's, is that racist? It's, no, I, no, I, it's not racist. I think it's just it's definitely <laughs> a positive thing. You know. You're just highlighting certain, certain I just, people. I just, just thanking certain people more than others, and that's fine. I'm, I'm just so appreciative of you know the the blacks and uh, everything they've done for uh, society. Is that for, all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, We're talking about the pirates, right? Yeah, the the uh, the. <laughs> We're talking about the small pirates, right? <laughs> Is that was that what they were called? Uh, they referred to themselves. They're as current. The there's a lot of pirates currently. Is my dad still in talking. The, uh, I was I, know, I, I was trying to fit and frame in the uh, IG now. camera, and then I look down here and I look like I'm like fucking. So next forward. episode. Yeah. Uh, have you checked out this cool thing? Have you seen the? Uh, have you seen a penile sub incision before? Uh huh. Penile penile sub incision. Uh, on a, purpose. Uh, it's, yeah, it's like a cool uh, kind of body modification. What, well, what are the benefits? Cool? Hold right. on, let me guess. Is this for when you're scuba diving and you don't have a circumcision and the pressure becomes too much when you come back if your penis blows up? That <laughs> fixes that, doesn't it? It may. I don't know. I think it's, I've heard of that. It's been done. Um, I think I've heard of that. It, it Generations all over the world do it. And they, they do it right now as like a body modification type of thing. And uh, it uh, basically they slit the penis. Like, you know, like can you open a hot dog before you bake in the microwave? Mm. Yes. They slid it open. This is a Hebrew national. I mean, do we need to specify? <laughs> I don't know, man, but I, I think it could be anything. A penis <laughs> national. <laughs> why? Why? Why, why did they do it? it? Yeah. It's like rite of passage type of thing. Does it still work? Uh, no. It. Uh, you had to pee sitting down after that. So you cauterize your shit. Cauterize? You why cauterize? Is, you it it? It why is it a rite of passage? You don't do it with a hot knife. You do it with a room temperature knife. Fucking A, dude. Well, you do it with, like, all these temp <laughs> this, uh, fucking cultures all over the world. I don't know if they have hot knives. What, God, um, what culture? That's raw dog style. No, it's not circumcision. It's a sub-incision. It's yeah, mutilation. So it's sub so a sub-penile incision. And some cool people, like, who gauge their ears and shit, they're yeah, doing yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Okay. They're yeah. doing that to their penis? Yeah. Penis yeah. Penis. I'm going to have to look it up because I just don't feel yeah. fully in Look up photos of it because I want yeah. you guys to, to see Absolutely. it. Sub-penile? Penile, penile sub-incision. Yeah. Yes. Make sure you spell it right if you need him to spell it. Penile sub-incision. Yeah. Is there a hyphen? I don't think No so. hyphen? Okay. Pretty sure there's not a hyphen. 
Thanks. Why did you know about this, Josh? I can't remember where I found it. But, I mean, it's because um, he's cultured. <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, I appreciate. How do you spell penile though? P e n i l e. Penile. Penile sub incision. Yeah, I'm glad. Does that this we... sound like a Reddit? Like a penile? It's on Google Images. Do you think penile comes from the Nile River? Yeah. No. I don't. I probably not. That's where the first penises were. In the Nile River? Yeah, that's where we came from. Mesopotamia? Yeah. Well, we came from, like, like I don't know. No, we came from, uh, what, northern Africa. Right? Yeah, I thought Mesopotamia was where we came from. No, that was the first uh, Oh, I forgot that this penis is. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot what you were looking at. All right, so. Uh, let me see. I knew Showed... it, dude. I knew this is how it was going to be. So I don't like it. Oh, I see it. No, I so see it goes it. up the it. middle, and it's, it's terrible. You're, it I goes... have a headache, dude. I, I didn't have a headache until now. And now you have it in your search, so that's pretty chill. So it goes th let through your see. urethra as well, so the yeah. pee just comes out of the slit. <sighs> Why? So it's a, I, maybe it's a rite of passage. <gasps> <laughs> I hate it. Why do you keep you can find it more? Why Look no, I don't want to see that. Oh, that's terrible. That's yeah, not that's, cool, dude. That's you a need to see the stub in Can I say, show it on here? It's really uh, you need to see uh, the yeah, 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 show it. Yeah, this show. is a they just split it open. Uh, I mean they just split it open. I hope nobody who I care about is watching. This is about to be Ooh. very graphic. Yo, it's gonna get rated R right now. So no, look at this X. one. I will say at least it's a clean cut. Ooh. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> we're going to get fucking banned no, off of YouTube. I you know, looking at yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're getting YouTube banned. <laughs> you know, we're, 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 we're already banned on Facebook. Look. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, you know, why? Facebook will ban anybody. You know what? You know why we're banned? Facebook's on that oh, shit, dude. Man. They have a lot of... Uh, Yo, it's crazy because it looks like a vagina. A vagina. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I saw it. Don't you want to fuck that shit? Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. Do you like this? Yeah, it's yeah. probably on my top twenty. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Why does it yeah. look exactly okay? I'm, all right. Are you gonna make I up your background? That's why they call it a gash. Let me delete this from my history. So we're del so we're banned on still, Facebook. Make sure you get the cookies out too, because they're gonna start advertising certain blades and box cutters too. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Ooh, I see one that's pink. Oh, I don't want to see any more. You want to look at it? No, nah, there's we're, food we're right here right now. There's food right here. So we're we're banned on Facebook for we talk for talking about the Bellamy salute. You know what the Bellamy salute is? No, tell me. So back in the, they used when they did the Pledge of Allegiance okay. before World War II, they didn't do the hand on the heart. Okay, they did this. Huh? And they changed it because of a look how much you're doing it. That's why they banned you. Excuse me. They did this. A lot on purpose. So no, no, I'm doing the Bellamy salute. They changed it. <laughs> okay. They changed it because of oh boy. They changed it because of the Nazis had this, a similar hand gesture. Well, that's the way it goes, man. You know, I, if if I, if that were the case, I'd never drive a Toyota Tacoma because ISIS uses Tacomas all the time. You know what I mean? It's like you got to be able to separate church and state. Good point. I think your I think your penis still works Good when point. you get this done. Why is there? Yeah, it says Ugh. because this is what it says. Because they're two different sacks on either end. Well, it says the ability uh, to impregnate uh, can be de decreased. So it says that you can still come. You're gonna come out of the much. middle hole though. And then it says that be. it <laughs> says that you usually self perform it, which is even yeah. weirder. <laughs> and it's a coming of age. I felt like that was. I was about to say. I felt like that was. See, a like sin. all yeah. of the, every single one oh, of those I thought people. The doctor did it. Don't you feel like they are part of the overpopulation? Yeah, I, I agree. You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. anybody who they don't has know what it, they're doing. Anybody who yeah. cuts their penis up, man, like. They're out. I don't know who am I to judge? They're just like, why are we here? Who am I, I to judge? You know who I yeah. should get? Anybody who's like, you should thank them because the chances of them having kids are less. Name, you could be the first in line to go. All right. What? The pronouns after the name. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go Dude, to the front of the line. That was so controversial. Guys, guys, I don't give a shit. Guys. Fuck, fuck you guys. No, pronouns. okay, okay. Just because. Yeah, it's, it's all, all you this have a real problem. problem. Dude, you seem like you have your pronouns on. <laughs> No, first of all, I, I, all I'm saying is I try to treat people with respect. I'm not trying to go overboard. I'm not trying to overcomplicate complicate yeah. things, but I am trying to treat people with respect. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah. like, if you put your pronouns after your name, like, I will make fun of you, but not to your face. But if you look Especially like Daniel Delano, like, like, I would make fun of you because I could take him. Shout out yeah. Dan Delano. Like if if you're not even like um a tr transitioning or anything and you have your pronouns after your name, it's like you're fair game. Guys, my pronouns are he him. You're fair game to be made fun of. Just so you know, in case you didn't know, I'm he him. Yeah, yeah, it's just really silly to me. I, yeah, I, I don't understand it. What are your pronouns? When you I'm start sure. doing improv yeah, classes, sure. not, it's like sure. thespians, so they make you do that a lot. They're you like, doing oh, improv? 
Yeah, you try to do improv classes. Where you doing improv? They say like name your favorite animal. I did it in New York, and uh, they do. They they're like the the type of people. What if you like have like. your resume and you have to put your pronouns? Like if it's saw somebody's resume My and their pronouns were shit. right beside Whoa. it, I would just Mind like not call them. The whole time. Yeah, yeah, I would. I would kind of put it to the side. Yeah, I'd be like, like no. I think I'm gonna try to find anybody else. You gotta do this. Yeah, that's my girl's pose like this. But there are certain places where they're more sensitive to that than others. Like I did stand up comedy in Austin. It was very much like that. I mean, seriously, but like Austin. it was like it was like Shout it was Austin. like tell me your tell me your favorite animal and what your pronoun is. Like, and when you're a comedian, like so. Different things. They had us but go it, around, and I was first, I mean, and I immediately I said, "Your Highness," right, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> no way. I was like, "Your Highness." But did they call you Your Highness? Did they respect it? No, they got mad. They were like, "Wow, like, why yeah. are you disrespecting this?" But what if you really like? It's so crazy that that could really be your fucking shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so then at the end of the circle was a real gay guy. Like everybody else was like a girl and stuff. At the end of the guy. circle was a real gay guy, and he goes, real "Um, gay man. <laughs> was he a real gay man? I'm a real gay boy? Or was he like a real gay guy?" Uh, he goes, "Thine, Thine. or whatever, Thine. or like some like a royalty joke." Yeah, so, sounds religious. Uh, that he said, "My pronouns are thou and thine, or something." That's and so it's like this funny. Person said? Yeah. He was making a joke oh, out of it. Did and they so respected like, that shit? Not yeah, because he was gay, so he was allowed to I make see. it funny. Because yeah, his see. identity is Yeah, that power. is aggravating. Yeah, you know who's... Do y'all follow Zuby on Twitter? Do you know who that is? I don't know who that is. Do you? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Educate. That's all right. Educate. Like, it, so honestly, I've been freaking out about it because it's... So it's this black guy, and he's like... um, He's kind of like a fighting against certain like really radical left ideas okay so he's like always fighting against this stuff and uh he's really popular on twitter because of that but like i feel like he's allowed to fight against it because he's black and like everybody's hiding behind him he's the one that's celebrated and allowed to because he's literally he has the credibility to say like Stop treating us like this. We don't want like just different things, you know. It's yeah. easier when you. It's unfortunate. It shouldn't have to be like that, but it's easier for them to get their point across. They're much more believable. Much more because credible. they're like, I I'm black and I'm still saying this. Yeah, Therefore, like you can't pin me in a corner. What about like um saying this? like Terry Crews and shit, where people were saying that like he was being like a race. And he didn't even do anything shit. crazy. He didn't. Even, I don't remember what he did, but I just remember it was like you know overblown as shit. Which always is the case. Anytime you don't like step in line with certain ideals. Yeah. I mean, but that's always how it's been. The, look, the entertainment business guys, if we're trying to make it, just I mean, y'all already know, is a little bit left leaning. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it is. It may be more now than but, ever, but that's still something that you have to kind of just. You know, I feel like podcasts with. and shit are like kind of self correcting that a little bit. They are because you don't have to worry about that. You know, it's like you're not going to not book me because of something that I fucking say. You know, because because you can do your own thing yeah, also. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like it's just you, different. Do you, you like follow Andrew Schultz at all? Yeah. I don't. He's like more moderate. Okay. But that's because he's like does his own shit. Like he couldn't get a special or whatever, so he produced his own special. So the I feel like crowd work. Yeah. So I feel like now he like is able to because he did it. His, he he's not. He doesn't have like he's not indebted to somebody. Yeah, he can say, "Hey, don't put that joke in there." Yeah, he's not indebted because yeah. he did it himself. Yeah. So now he can just be himself. Oh, it's like Master P with no limit when he had his own A and R and his own produce, production and his own distribution. When you have all of it, you don't have to answer to anybody. Right. And that's exactly one of the things that the internet has helped do. If you have fucking savvy with that, dude, you can make it. And you can make it. You just gotta be consistent. But at the same time, it's like people talk about like anybody, anybody can do it these days. Anybody. It's still hard as fucking shit because, like, everybody's got a podcast, right? Yeah, I know. I'm it's, exactly. It's like, and I'm not doing it. I'm fucking. I'm percolating on your shit, but in general, it's you know. And like, titties not, won't even work, even if you get like a whore off the street and have her come flash the camera. It still won't even work. Really? Because there's just too many. Work. There's too many of them not doing that. But there's too games. many people doing that. Yeah, so you know, like uh, you guys know uh, Bell Delphine at all. Can't say I, I think I've heard of her. She was like a, a one of those uh, Twitch video game girls. Oh, okay, yeah. She was the one to get. She got famous for selling her um, bath water. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know no, there was some other broad. Cool. I can't remember her name, but Twitch kept banning her because she would do these like sleep streams. Like there was these weirdos <laughs> who would tip her hella money to yeah. watch yeah. her sleep. Yeah. That's so cool. Dude, that's fucking weird as shit. And she was fine with it. She's like, "Well, I'm paying my rent." And I'm like, "Dude, 
I'm kind of all right with it, but another part of me is like, dude, they're fucking with your dreams and shit. People watching you sleep, <laughs> you're getting into some weird, like, third Wait. dimension, oh, breaking through the fourth wall. Your dreams? Like, like, in which way are you? Being I'm like, not sure, man. I'm not a dream catcher. No, I'm just saying, I think like, I'm about to start streaming my sleep. Wow. Oh, shit. She's like, a business you know, idea. You know what I'm going to do, too? What? Get a dream Go catcher. for a walk in my na- neighborhood barefoot and film my feet the whole time. There you go. You can be walking around. I'm sure, there's a, I'm sure there's a fucking <laughs> yeah. market. What are you working with? <laughs> Why don't you pull them yeah. out on fucking street? You know, right wet, now so wet feet, wanna... dry feet. You know, like <laughs> well, food well, on Vicky. your feet. You know, oh man, the, the list goes on. You, you know, you, um, you could do it. Last okay, time, you, well, last time you were on, you were talking about selling your snot rags. Did I really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think could work, especially like. But you know what? Now it might be a hate crime because. Um, of COVID, if you're if yeah, somebody, you, you give some if you mail somebody your snot, that could have fucking germs in it, you know. Unless it's unless they <laughs> unless they know it's coming. But you know how girls like sell their panties online? Yeah, that would have been a federal crime if I was a snot seller and I did it during my sickness. Yeah, they would be like, "Bitch, is this po- COVID, po- positive for COVID?" <laughs> but you know what? It would have been the vaccine though. That my is snot. that is the vaccine, right? The, the vaccine is you get sick. It, that's what that's all a vaccine is. It makes you sick. But I thought you couldn't get sick from just like touching something that had COVID. I thought it was only droplets. Now I thought they. Like, I don't know. I think if I drank some, if I slurped up some snot, then I think I would probably get it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to touch oh. as much stuff as you can, and then touch your <laughs> eyes, and then you'll be safe because you'll make your immune system really strong. I, I think my I, immune I have a pretty strong. strong immune system. I think doing. Mics, I mean, we go into the sauna, so yeah. we're good. I eat a lot of Burger King. I think that helps. Yeah. Well. Taco Bell just, just like have some vitamin D and go into the sauna. Yeah. Does the sauna give you vitamin D? Okay. No, no. it doesn't, but yeah. it's like it helps like your circulation and shit. Yeah. It's dope. You sweat a lot. It's really dope. Love it. It would probably give me a headache right now. Uh to do all that. Yeah. Cause you, I'm hungover. You're still hungover, even though you drank some. Yeah, I don't like drinking. I, I just drank last night. It was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> yeah. That shit happens. That yeah. shit happens. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I just fall, I just fall and yeah. like there's some drinks and I just like go in my like mouth and just fell down. <laughs> just a little drinky poo. A little drinky poo never hurt anybody. Yeah, drink, drinking. <laughs> drinky poo. poo. That's it. Drinking what was your? It looks like you're gonna ask another question. I no, I'm I'm out of fucking topics now. I should, okay, like, let's see what this person said. One. Is my dad right. been talking? Um, 50, 76 feet joined or five. What's up? Shout out to And if I could, ensla- if I could, I would enslave you. So somebody wants to enslave you. <laughs> okay. Which one of us? I'm black and I have a pet white friend. That's cool. Well, I mean, as long yeah. as it's consensual. I was going to say that consensual. As long as yeah. Consensual. If you want to be somebody's slave, like. That's yeah, back to that's the Dom stuff we were talking about. You know, if mm-hmm. it's consensual, then then we, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for I'm all about, like, anybody being able to express any way they want to be. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Cut your dick, do whatever you need to if do. If you want to cut your dick, that's cool. Yeah. You want to be yeah. eaten? Go get eaten. Remember I that guy know. who got I, eaten? When I, I, when I read about that, it really You know, You know we're talking about the guy who got eaten? In Germany. Yeah. It was so surface. fucked up. I read, by, like, yeah. the whole thing. You're talking about the guy who got eaten on the live stream? No. Wait, I think, oh, was there another guy? I think there was another guy. Who got eaten. No, it was like a, it was like a snuff film, but it was real. Dude, imagine talking to the person. Wait, first. yes, I did see yeah, that. It was like an, it happened to an Asian guy. Yes, I saw yeah. that report. That shit was totally raw too, man. That was Ooh. like that was way ahead of its time. That was fucked up. What? Yes, I ahead of its that time. Asian guy. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> he was the same guy that killed the kitten. Yes, the I'm pretty sure. Pretty yeah. sure. He like took these. Fu- this is fucked up. He took these cats. And he put them in one of those vacuum like uh, bags that you like Ugh. use your. And then he just oh, like yeah, I think it works the same guy. And then he like guy. just suffocates the kittens in the vacuum bag. And then later yeah. on, he fucking ate an Asian dude. I could I couldn't watch the Netflix documentary on it because I I, already, watched I, I I couldn't watch that shit because I had already had my. I was like yeah. I don't want to get that shit in my mind any more than it is because that shit's raw. That shit's a raw you, dog. Did you um? Read the jury report on the Sandusky trial. That shit's fucking no. too. I read it. No, but I I'm, I never liked Penn State. I'm an Ohio State guy. Dude, so as far as I'm concerned, they were child molesters love- before Sandusky. Y'all I, I, love to like read and watch about murder. Reading, reading is good, not yeah, just about murder, course. but you know, reading. I is absolutely want to read all about all. I don't read about. I murder. don't. I don't like that, and I think a lot of men don't like it either. I think hey, women are always. Doing you know what? What's your thought? I'm gonna tell you my opinion. 
I feel like women are always on that. Okay, you think you're... Yeah, more often than not. Like, my favorite murder, I feel like there's a lot of What's your opinion on that? Why is it that women like that? I'm going to tell you my opinion. What's yours? Why do you think it is? No, you got to tell me first, because I have my... my, She said she doesn't get it. No, because my opinion is is the true... The truth. Uh Uh-huh, go ahead. So, I want to hear what you're saying, so I can correct you. (laughs) Go ahead, then. Somebody said you guys are sexy. Thank you. What's it's your argument? He wasn't talking to you, okay? At this um, so uh what was I gonna say? Okay, okay, here's why women like mm-hmm. murder shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's cut it's because of our biological roots. Mm-hmm. So back in the day, mm-hmm. there were we were like hunter gatherers, Absolutely. right? So like the men were out like hunting just and shit. Finish. Hold on, Hurry up. shit. Like, I'm, just hold on. I'm trying to mansplain some shit, okay? Please, just please. fucking hold out. Okay. All right, so the men were out. Like pounding on their chest, like throwing spears at shit, dragging oh, yeah. women by their hair back in the caves and shit. The women were the gatherers, so they would like sit around in like a, a circle, like weaving baskets and shit, gossiping, yeah. getting berries so, and shit. Like. Yeah, getting like, berries. Did you and shit. hear what happened to Julie? Yeah. So women, yeah. Yeah. I, over, a saber tooth tiger, yeah. right? Yeah, a saber tooth. Uh, over <laughs> generations, have grown to like gossip. So what's what's the, what's the juiciest gossip? Murder. Yeah. What's even yeah, juicier? Yeah, a yeah. sexy dude murdering, right? Yeah, it's, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So that's yeah. what it is. They're like they're you're not right, they're not they don't get turned on by like guys murdering. They just think it's cool and then the, the if they like the guy also, yeah. that adds to it, right? Didn't John so, Gacy have like a wife when he was on death row? But yeah, go on. I'll tell you my two opinions is that first off, like sh- female sheep watch males fight each other and then when the winner wins, she fucks him. So yeah. they, they think it's sexy. It's true. Like a male sheep will bash. Because another, about rams? Yes, and a lot of other animals. Like so, a male sheep will bash another sheep's head in, and mm. then the female is like, all right, hey. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And then second of all, we handle a gallon of blood every month, and so we're in the bathroom <laughs> once a month, no matter who it is. All of the women, we're in the bathroom once a month, like this, like. Ah. With like thick blood, yeah. And y'all are never. When's the last time you were really physically around a significant amount of blood? Never. I can't answer that. <laughs> I'm married. I mean, man. yeah, you got, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a good visual. I get, I get your point though. But yeah, so the point is like, um, so we're we're comfortable with like <laughs> you know blood flowing, like yeah, and y'all are kind of like. Well, when I was four, I scraped my knee, and that was that was mm-hmm. painful. Like you're kind of like anti blood more. Are you saying that men can't get periods? Because I was gonna. Uh, good point. Y'all good are point. freaked out. Y'all won't even. Some of y'all won't even like hook up with a girl who's on her period. I think you're being I mean, like, you're being transphobic right now. And we'll get in there. We'll like paint. paint there paint there are some men that are like that, and maybe nowadays more men like that than others. But that's not like every man. I wouldn't still say that's the majority of men. I just think yeah. maybe you might have had an experience with that type of men. Buddhists and monks and stuff, they won't even allow a woman on their period to be around. Well, that makes sense. I think Muslims are like that too. Hold on, hold on. How does that... Not... That makes <laughs> like, sense, you said? <laughs> hold on. Like, I, 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 get, get, wait for one second. Yeah. If you're a monk, okay, why would you want to be dealing with a woman who's on her period? How does that benefit <laughs> you? How does that benefit you? Yeah. How does that benefit you? No, no, I'm not trying to be sexist. How, how, does, that benefit how does that benefit you? you? Desire how are you going to have suffering. a good experience when when you know you're going to be in a bad mood and I know you're going to be in a bad mood? Why are we kidding ourselves? <laughs> so it's I okay. have to go to the woods? Now, look, maybe it, maybe yeah. you go to a beach house. I'm not saying you got to go to the fucking woods. But you do say that in those I places. Didn't, well, are, if you're telling me they make them go to the woods, then that's wrong unless it's, yeah, really, like, unless it's a really it's nice cabin in the woods. There's bears in the woods. So if you go to Bali, if you go to Bali, there's like temples everywhere. Is and that when you, Indonesia? When, when you try to enter a temple, there's a sign, and the only thing the sign says <laughs> is women on their period, uh, menstruating women. That's the only will be thing. executed if executed. they enter. Shit, I thought Bali was like more. Uh, like, they ain't cool. chill, dude. All right. And you know, I was on my period in the temple, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Yeah, fuck Bali. Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck you guys. Yeah, we're like fuck meditating the in the thing guys. with like, shh. yeah. You know what I heard about? <laughs> you know what I heard about Indonesia? Like, kind of on the same topic a little bit. That they yeah. like dry vaginas. 
Okay. They like if a guy has sex with a girl and they have a wet vagina, they try to wipe all the moisture out of it. They wick all the moisture out so that so that it's dry. Why do you feel like that is? Why do I feel like it is? Yeah. I don't fucking know. Like it's some just like backwardsness to their culture. Or it's nasty. It's like mucus. They're like, ew, get off the slime. I think they like they like the friction. I think they like the, they think it feels good for it to be dry. And but a motor doesn't work if there's not oil in it. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't culturally, sense. that's like cutting your dick, just like we were talking about. Yeah, some people cut so their dick. Well, dick. When you some guys had sex vaginas. with a dry vagina, did you think it felt okay, or did you think it hurt? All our Indonesian viewers, comment right you now. Bitch, acting like have you guys had sex with a dry vagina? I mean, obviously it's it's not preferred. Why would you want to have sex with a dry vagina? I mean, like unless it's like some some older lady you're trying to like get with because you did, but, want to steal a book from her house or something. Was it painful for you, or what was the? Mm -hmm. How did it? Feel? I mean, painful for me. That's I, I no, it wasn't painful for me. But it, I mean, it's not near the same. Obviously, like that's again, it's like. There's a reason why, like, older women have drier vaginas. So why would you prefer a dry vagina? That's like saying you want a horse that doesn't run as fast. Why? Like, I, that doesn't make any sense. Like, so if my vagina is dry, it's not running as fast? Look, I, 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 uh, what are, are you, you sexist or something? Are you trying to, to like paint? like a cripple horse or something? If I'm yeah, trying, what's wrong with dry vagina? If I'm so. trying to get the fastest horse, then yes. If I'm trying to get the fastest horse, I didn't say that I was, but it, it, in a world where you know a man might be trying to, you yeah. know, then yes, absolutely. That's that's, that, that's just like saying a man whose dick didn't work or a man whose whose back didn't work or, or whatever the case may be was limited physically. It's that's the same right. shit. They also like you flaccid know? dicks over there in, in Indonesia. Well, man, I think you're just lying. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're literally lying. No, that was a lie. No, that was made up. But the, the dry vagina thing is true. He's like, look, you yeah. can Google that shit. All right, they like dry vaginas over there. But it would, wouldn't that you be... Should, you, honestly, you should be a fucking fact checker if you're going to be sitting here on your... Like, you should literally be um, Jamie or whatever. Jamie? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pull that shit up. What do you want me to pull Google, up? do Google, um, do Indonesians like prefer dry vaginas dry or vagina. prefer... And that will be on your search history forever. Absolutely. It's okay. I don't care. She's got worse on her search history. <laughs> dry vagina. But, uh... Well, they are a third world country, so they obviously don't get a lot of things right. Guys, you're, you're, <laughs> killing, oh, shit. you're killing it with Same. culture war. We yeah, have... African and Indonesian women drive vag vaginas to make sense. To make sex. Okay, to so make yeah. Sex. Uh, so South and Central Africa and Indonesia, I consider all those places shithole places like drive vaginas. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> 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 so it's real though. Scary. so it's real that's, that's i can real. see it being like you know if if you're in a dirty area you need her to go clean herself up so then it comes back clean and it's dry because she like used soap and water doesn't get wet at again though? you don't want it being all like slimy you're like i don't know there's so much disease around here you yeah. need to go you can't have things I don't sitting, think, sitting out. Yeah, pull pull out that disease. I don't even know if it's. I think you're giving them benefit of the doubt. They're cleaning themselves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, we okay, are losing so... all our Indonesian and <laughs> any any Indonesian <laughs> out there. In Africa that... and Indonesia, women dry their vaginas with sand and bleach oh to make sex more pleasurable for men. Sand and bleach. Huh. So yeah. men, so it's the men's fault. So me. so it's the men's fault. Classic, fucking classic, it's because the men prefer it. Y'all suck. <laughs> like, Dude, me, I don't. The men I'm there not, didn't prefer it. That wouldn't be the case. Yeah, it's, it's Dude, all the men's fault. Would you fault. put? Would yeah. I'm not drying. Sand and bleach. Yeah. Sand. Dude, what about what happened to a towel? You know. Oh, that's uh, probably after. Yeah. Uh, Sand and bleach are harsh. Sand and bleach, substances. a nice Afghan towel, right? <laughs> So I guess that's why everyone loves raping so much because it's a dry vagina. Now people love raping just because it's yeah. fun. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's weird that none of y'all two that will admit sense. what to. Tell me, I'll admit to it. They what? say apparently it's more pleasurable for the man, and I asked you. I said, "How does it feel?" I, I said it wasn't. I said okay. it wasn't. So this I, is. I, I told you already. So this is their. This is right. their logic. So they like the dry vaginas because it signals that the women aren't like in tune with their 
sexuality. Like yeah. they're more in, they're more likely to be a virgin. It's getting more and, and so more, like it's if getting your more vagina disturbing. is wet, yeah, it's, it's like, like you you have had sex, you're experienced, and you're, you're like you know it. what's going on. Yeah, so you're like pumped for it. But if you have a dry vagina, you're probably like, oh, I'm a virgin and. Help I don't know me. what's going on. Uh, just fuck it's, me. All like, right. It's like it comes back to just like taking advantage. It's like some dark shit. That's some cultural know. shit. Some cultural well, shit. Well, anyways, Indonesia sucks. Yeah, uh, I can attest to that. What about the elephants that are there? They're good, right? I don't give a fuck about elephants. But, but they have like really long memory and they have really good personality. I mean, like stuff. honestly, if somebody was like Arlene, either all <laughs> elephants <laughs> could be extinct. Or you can never eat steak, steak again. Which one would you choose? I mean, I think choose? everybody would like, It shouldn't be that. It should be you can never play piano, ivory keyboards again. It shouldn't. I mean, because I don't eat elephant hamburgers. Yeah, but I would be Ugh, like, you dude, know, I'd I rather eat, eat steak than have elephants be alive. I, I generally speaking, would too, but like, they're, they're mutually exclusive. We can I know eat steak Arlene's getting for elephant. Christmas an elephant gun. A stuffed gun. elephant? Oh, okay. So good. she can kill elephants. I, I don't know. I mean, they're okay. And it's in a state. Maybe they're, elephants they're are like, delicious. They're huh? dangerous. They're Josh like, has ivory at his parents' house. I have ivory? What are you talking about? Yeah, those fucking like little animals from your That's like glass, dude. Hand. That's like glass. Oh, really? You have those little those little African little statues have real ivory on them. That's real ivory. Oh, yeah. Damn, son. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It came from an, an actual animal that died for that. I don't know. I mean, that happens, right? Yeah. Like... Are elephants like good for the environment? I think <laughs> they would be bad. No, they're very damaging. Are, actually, they're one of the I, only no, animals I think that can change the. I think they're just chill as shit though. They're pretty cool. Yeah, have you seen Dumbo? Yeah. Yeah, but do you have any elephant friends? Ooh, so not yet. In, yeah, in, not yet. In, in why, Indonesia, why are, you, why are you speaking like that's not a possibility? Like I, I like animals. I probably will so have an elephant friend. I would be scared around an elephant. Why would you be scared around an elephant? It can flip out and like. Hurt Only you. if you flip out. It's like it's reactive. It's like a big dog. You ever been around a big dog? If you get him excited, he fucking freaks out. I don't something? like. Yeah. What if my my vibes are so off that an elephant would be like? Don't have off vibes. I don't know. Don't hang around grizzly bears. I can do. Yeah. Um, take a Xanax before you hang out with the elephant. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you like, gotta take a Xanax. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to tell you. Like, In Indonesia, they'll insert insert a cigar sh- shaped stick made of a plant root in their vagina to get it dry. That sounds a little nicer. Yeah. It's just like a chemical yeah. drying. Madura sticks. That's what they're called. I wonder if you can buy them on Amazon. Okay. Oh, you gotta be able to. You gotta. I'm be gonna able buy to. some and give them to my mom. Not tell her what. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, here, this mom. Is, this is some cultural shit, mom. Madura. I'm looking it up. I was like, um, I was really embarrassed. I don't want to say this online. Do it. I've already said embarrassing things. You I was it. really embarrassed because I went to hook up with this guy that I was excited, like I liked him, and uh, I was so nervous because I hadn't been like in my sexuality for like years. I was so nervous that the pretty much the whole time we were hooking up, I couldn't get wet. I couldn't lubricate myself. <laughs> Did well, you hook up with I'm him? on Facebook. <laughs> well, uh, I, yeah, that's. Oh uh, yeah, we were we were having sex, and the whole time uh, I was dry, and I was so nervous that I didn't even bring it up. Like normally, you'd be like, "Whoa, it's so crazy that like this is happening," but I was so nervous that we were like just having sex, and I didn't bring it up. And I was thinking in my head about the song "Wet Wop." Uh huh. And Didn't I was like, "That well. song is like, that song is a uh, teasing me or whatever." No, dude, you can buy these sticks online. So you don't even need those sometimes. So, so these, so, so dry ass pussies are actually in demand. Yeah. Thirty so nine ninety nine. If, if that continues happening, you can get a really good suitor if you go to that area of the world. Yeah. Um. It only has three point four. Stars out of five, though. Let's see what people say. This person said it's not as good as some other. Doesn't get me dry enough. <laughs> who is it? Like, who is this girl? Is she like an African woman? Or just, it, it just know? doesn't get me dry enough. You it's know? like, hey, my, I'm still wet. You know what you need for that dry vagina? Some biazine. Just put some drops in there. Does that work? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that shit is bad. I mean, like, you don't want to put eye drops in there. Why don't you just like? Mm-hmm. Why don't you just like? Be like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom and like squirt some lube up in there and then come back. I was nervous. Wait, we got I, really I deep. Think I missed we got really I, deep. I, yeah, I, I, we yeah. got really deep, Josh. You, you okay. I actually had it. I was like, I did a bit about it on stage and stuff. I just don't like being on Facebook Live talking about it because it's like too sexual and graphic. 
Because that that would be bad on Facebook. Live. Yeah, absolutely. We're on Facebook yeah. Live. No, we're not. We're banned from Facebook. Yeah, what is like, this Instagram Live? Yeah, we're on it. IG and YouTube. Yeah. I guess that's fine. No, it's not. Yeah. So it's so not. not. Yeah. So it's not on Face page. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, did he have any lube? Did he like not? No, even... he didn't say anything either. Oh, was it like yeah. not good? Did you ever hook up? Do you again? think he was African? We, yeah, we. It was fine, and like afterwards, it was okay. But um. No, he was not African, and uh, so he didn't prefer it. I hooked up with this guy, and I was so nervous that I couldn't get wet, and so we had like dry sex for like an hour. It was probably it was probably fifteen minutes. That doesn't okay. sound good for his dick either. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, why yeah. would you like that as a man? Yeah, that sounds like carpet burn for your dick. Why would you like that? Well, apparently, like, it's let me take some sand Maybe that's just why it lasted an hour. I wonder he was like, how many uh, guys in Indonesia. I, did, I just regret that act up. Like, I wonder how many of them are homosexual. You know, because I heard in like Afghanistan and like very Muslim countries, yeah. like everybody's gay. Well, no. it's interesting you bring that up. They do up the, the goats over wars. there. They do up the goat asses. I heard the there goats are certain are... Areas, they do up the goat asses. They put Ooh. makeup on them and stuff. It's, it's a whole thing. I'm serious. They I had some more buddies. They put, they put them like do them up like a fucking lady does her face. I was, Wait, remember, the, I don't know. The oh, Afghanistan Google people? this shit. Yes. Oh, Jamie. Yes. Pull that shit up. Okay. Um, I was yes, remember absolutely me, like you, Afghanistan makeup, goat you can Google sex, you can Google okay. no no Google makeup goat asses Afghanistan. Speaking okay, of goat absolutely. asses, me and I remember me and Tony were riding down the, the street one time on the on a road to go to a mic, and there was this goat that had his head stuck in the fence. <laughs> so I pulled over right. Well, no, fuck Ooh, the, that sounds like a glory hole. Yeah, fuck the goat, man. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, yeah, dude. And I I told him not to. And Wait, I told did him, you? Yeah, I did. and then I went back in the car, I was like, all right, Tony, it's your turn. He went and he stuck his head in the fence. Wait, yeah. I can't be your friend if you fuck the goat. Why not? Oh, that's a deal breaker. It's too far. <laughs> oh, so, so everything else we talked about is fine. But, oh, yo, dude, if you fuck the goat, no, I fuck, no, man, I can't be anything to do with you, man. You know, I fuck the goat. The is gray. it cheating? Is it cheating on your wife if you have sex with the goat? I'm not sure. I'm it gets a little gray. It gets a little gray. No, I'm talking. You, like, come home from work and you're like, I fucked a goat because <laughs> it was stuck in a fence. No, I, I'm talking about the goat. Well, I'm, talking, I'm, I'm talking about the greatest of all time. Hold on, you left out the fact uh, that he he, he released the goat again. out of the fence. He released the goat out of the fence when he mm-hmm. was done. And I, I mean, I think that's a stand-up fucking thing to do. A lot of people would have just left the goat. Do it out, yeah. I, I think that's. I mean, I think it, that differentiation think, needs to be made. Yeah. I can't find anything. I think the got lost. I, I, I believe Google. you because, like, I had this friend, and he told me he had a friend that would fuck his goats. So why not? He said, I mean, if I didn't want to, if I didn't want to put it on my phone, I, I'm trying to think of the keywords to do it. it that, so that didn't work. What I told I you. I googled goat butts with makeup, <laughs> and there's nothing. I'm like, I'm trying to remember what it, it like. Literally, it was an image. Why do they have to put makeup on the? Well, because butt? it just makes it more pleasurable. It's like you're fucking. Oh wait, you're it fucking. Is. That would be the that would make, make it. You're fucking the face. a face. Yeah. 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 I mean, what I'm saying is, is if you're already gonna fuck a, a, a goat's ass, then I mean, you're you're doing it up. This is just a goat's face. No, look at your butt. <laughs> would you do, do one of those fucking dolls? No, we've yeah. talked about it. I have a little bit about the sex dolls. I think that shit's terrible. Like, fuck a conditioner bottle if that's where you're at in life. Like, what? why do you have to get a sex doll? What about a robot? Like, what? what when... You know what? If you only want to fuck a fucking doll, then yeah, maybe you are part of the overpopulation problem. I agree. Back to what she was saying. Yeah. If you are if you are in that part of the woods, if, you, if you're doing that. I don't want to look at that shit. It's making me horny. Ah, <laughs> so it's my, I, I already told the story. I already got him going. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. This is a... Um... That's why PETA exists, to protect the goat asses. <laughs> you think PETA would be not okay with asses. people fucking goats? PETA's not okay with that. PETA would never yeah. let Afghanistan stuff like that happen. If they were... No, uh, I heard, like, everybody in Afghanistan is gay. That's what I heard. No, I heard that they, they, they because women are expensive. Words, yeah. be, because women are expensive. You have to have something to give. Culturally speaking, depending on the area you're talking the about. Yeah, that's, that's what you said last time. We, we touched you gotta on have land. Here. You, you gotta have the cows. Gotta the, the, the dancing boys. You have to buy a woman. Yeah. Traditionally speaking, there are certain and they areas. don't hang around. There's no bars. Like so, so what around. I'm saying is, it's much easier just to fuck your your buddy. You know, it's like, well, you know, I don't have to have I don't have to have land. No, I mean, like, I know, like, girls are like more susceptible of like. You know, being bi or whatever, but I don't know. I'm just like not into chicks. Imagine I can see, I can like see I'm not exactly gonna be like, oh damn, there's no guys around. I'm just gonna get with a chick. Like I would never be like that. <laughs> I tend to agree with you. I don't know. It's it's like I don't know. But it's... I've never been in that situation either. Um, you need to watch Dancing Boys. It's a 30 minute documentary. 
Okay. And basically when they, like if we order strippers here, what they do in Afghanistan and Iraq actually is they order a, little boys to come dance oh fuck man it got dark so as shit if you talk we well, need if you, you don't think i got dark the little boys boy. like it so no little they boys like yeah if i you think talk to the boys they're like yeah fuck a lot of people they like go around like i'm but they've been it's not getting like better they've, they've been, been taught to like it i think it's important yeah. to make that distinction okay, well. I'm looking like not it. getting more palatable for you saying they like it <laughs> she's like no it's fine they like it yeah but the documentary is crazy because they're interviewing the boys and the boys are like these little thugs these little like nine year olds that are like, yeah, everybody wants to fuck me and I and I fuck them. And like they like it. Yeah, it's that's yeah. disturbing to me. This goes back to the whole like the pedophilia thing versus like trying to fuck teenagers. Like that's fucked up. Like little boys, man. Watch that watch you know that what I'm saying? show on Hulu. You don't agree with me? I, yeah. I, I yeah, I agree. I agree. That shit is I that think shit people is need to crazy. mind their own business. Yeah. People need to mind their own business. What stop getting in everybody's bodies all the time. You know, no, I mean, you can get in there, just don't, not like a little boy. Um, <clears throat> okay, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering, I was asking somebody very sincerely, and I'm trying to do a survey on the street about it to like really figure it out. Is like if an older man who lives on his own, not old, but like a 50 year old man who lives on his own, has a female dog, and he tells you that, mm -hmm. do you as a man automatically? No, do y'all both automatically know that he has sex with the dog? No. What the fuck? Why would you? What the a fuck, man, dude? A man? You would have to have context. What? Here. Like, why would you assume that? Men are desperate. How many people have you seen fuck disgusting. dogs? That's your impression. Men are desperate. Like, men are having sex with apple pies. Men are having sex. Okay, with only men with apple pie fetishes. I've never fucked an apple pie. You're like, talking I, about some fucking movie that came uh, out in 1999. Do you know <laughs> any man who had sex with his female dog? Any of no, them? I don't know. I don't. No. I think I'm more likely to have an elephant friend than I am to know a man who does that. Matter, matter of fact, I think a woman right. having sex with a male dog would be more likely. And then, and then furthermore, because dog dicks are little, dog mm -hmm. pussies are little. You can't get your dick into a dog. It's maybe a great day. But, but women know, fuck like, dogs too. Women fuck dogs. I mean, that's the same shit. I, I know two women that have fucked dogs. Really? I, I don't nice. know any men. I'm not gonna name names. I'm just saying. Okay, like how did it come so up? So how are how is it and that you know two women it? that did that and you don't know men? Because I used when to work in the restaurant are, business really and I happen to there, they have to be more crazier women than men. And so they're just like, oh, I fucked yeah. my dog. No, I mean like it was it, it wasn't something that just like came up. I mean we had a lot of uh, sessions of truth or dare. I mean we did a lot of crazy stuff. I don't know what how many restaurants. You've worked at, but things are a little bit nicer. Men, men won't men won't admit to it because it's kind of a crime, and women it's will admit to it because what? it's like fun or whatever. So to admit to that, I, that's just, crazy. Yeah, men are all holding it as a secret, and I'm trying to what? figure this out. Man, how many wait, men wait. do you think fuck dogs? This is crazy. Okay, 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 okay. Fifty year old man, like, a fifty year old man who can't afford any, you know, he can't afford anything. He's all in right, the woods. All right. A whore, a whore is cheaper than dog food. A whore is cheaper than dog food. I'm not even gonna. True, yeah. Come on, man. Right. So if you're willing to have hours long conversation with a uh, unlikable whores and pay them and all this stuff, <laughs> you're not willing to to fuck your like dog that really likes you. Hell no. Your dog loves you. And, I would be more likely to buy no. a whore for my dog than I would be to fuck look, my you dog. Have let me, and it's a girl. Let me tell you this. I would buy let me, a whore let me tell dog. you this right now. I Absolutely. think you're way off on this shit. Yeah, people are not totally. fucking dogs. Are you guys some kind of weird animal question. dog fucking shit? She's mm -hmm. like, somebody's got to ask the question. Okay, all right. Because fair, I'm man. confused about men. Men are like, you're out of control. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, yeah, let me, men let me, are just fucking. Oh shit, there's a hole, Josh. There's a hole. Like, there's an open <laughs> that door. Open that door. Open that door. Fuck that doorway. Y'all have half the women on earth putting sand and bleach in themselves. And you won't fuck a dog. First of all, you're holding me responsible for the sand, <laughs> sandy vaginas. Yeah, we we <laughs> never condone that. We never condone sandy vaginas. I not only do not I do not condone it, but yeah. I condemn it. All right, I condemn sandy. Let, let, I condemn it. Yeah. If you are on Myrtle Beach and it's your vacation, you can have a sandy <laughs> vagina. But most of the time, yeah. it's not okay. I condemn sandy vaginas. <laughs> I'm gonna go off right now and say that television for the smart heart, its official stance is against. Sandy vaginas, <laughs> vaginal mutilation, yeah, penile subincision. I thought we were called penile. I thought we thought it was called. Well, if you're okay, well, if you want to do penile subincision, then you can do it. But um, it's like, cultural. 
Look, okay, so yeah, dinosaur wouldn't take that shit. She would get mad. We're talking. Okay, you can't just bring up a dog like, and then not have her on screen. It's so a like, pit bull woman. So, so like, uh, you're gonna bring her over? <laughs> Careful, so like, she might. Sorry, be dinosaur. Uh, sorry. Oh, uh, she was getting her beauty sleep. Look at that. She knows we're talking. She about still has her morning eyes. <laughs> 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 we're not oh. going to do right. anything to this dog. So she might, but we're not. I promise. Uh, so the, here's the thing. <laughs> you you you're like, why does the guy not want to fuck a dog? It doesn't. Yes, man's it does, best dude. friend. Everybody's raising Man's best friend doesn't mean you want to fuck your it best friend. It does fit or whatever you're about to say. So, it does. What? Um, you know that 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 line. You know, men are attracted to women, right? Yeah, men are attracted to to dogs. <laughs> what? Wait, no, <laughs> no, they're not. Unless they're we they're weird. It's, it's like uh, okay. I'm so confused. But all right, <laughs> y'all are y'all are getting uncomfortable. Okay, like, this is here she is. So no, like men, <laughs> no, you're not gonna fuck this dog. Okay, yeah, men are attracted to women. That's why they want to fuck. All right. Okay, that I makes mean, sense, right? In the look, story, that's it. She thinks men are dogs. I think that's where we're at. Here. You think men are dogs because they dogs can control time. themselves and dogs just fuck everything. That's that's where we're at. That's Is the that what you're she's making. I'll, I'll connect it for us. Um, I disagree, but that's fair. Most of y'all will do anything. I was in a um, sex room one time. A sex room? What is that? It's like a room where people uh, they all come and have sex with each other. What? Like did an you... orgy or a sex room? What's the difference? What they, they call, it, it was called a dungeon, you know? How did you make your way to that shit? My friend brought me in there. Okay. And so I was sitting, I went downstairs and I was just sitting and watching this 400, 500 pound lady <laughs> get fucked by like three different guys. <laughs> nice. It was terrible. It was like uh But I mean, she was probably it was enjoying like the show. Meat. It was I like think a everybody's probably meat. enjoying it. It was weird. Um, like, how were they all fucking her? Was one like in her mouth? What was up? The yeah, ass she was giving her serious. husband head. I know. Nice. And all these people were like having sex. It was like a whale carcass. Yeah, wow. no that's offense. that's a shame. Orcas. But, um, mm, mm. Like I, I, I don't like it when I call fat people whales. Well, you don't like it when you. It makes that. me feel like I'm being rude. Like, no, but that was already kind of rude. About it's not, it's not being rude. Here's the thing: like fat people, when they get the handicap sticker, they should be forced to park at the very back of the parking lot. They should not be allowed to park in the front. They should have to walk every time. I don't care if there's a spot right in the front. That'll save them. Wait, the fat people get handicap get stickers? They do. You can get fat enough. You can get fat enough to do that. How do you let yourself get that fat? Well, you have enough money and you have no drive. I would imagine. I do have one co coworker that got like the surgery and he still got fat. That sucks. Like, oh, he got skinny and then he got fat again. If I could afford it, I would eat three to four times wow. a day, and I might be fat. You told me about that. You don't eat that many times a day because you can't yeah. afford it. Yeah, yeah it's good for your heart. I'll give you, you a... Get, you I'm a I'm obviously, I'm kidding. No, I have a healthy diet of Chick-fil-A. Um, you know, <laughs> it's I eat, a Christian diet. It's healthy. It is very diet. Christian. I, I, I love Chick-fil-A. I don't hate gay people. You know? That's um, cool. It's okay. But, like, I, I guess I was bringing that up because, like, would you have sex with that Wait, woman? Wait, I want to know how Absolutely you got not. in the sex room. Like, how yeah. did your friend be like, she you brought me in, like, and it why, was interesting. Okay, then why did she bring you in? Like, what was she the was into that. Oh, she, she was, was in like, that yeah, she was getting into, like, um. Well, you knew what you were doing. Scene. You didn't just stumble upon it. You weren't just like, okay, oh, yeah, jam, like, a dungeon. Like, okay, <laughs> oh, really? shit, not again. So she was like, hey, I'm really <laughs> into orgies. I want to go to go to this sex dungeon. Do you want to come? And, and I went. was like, okay, yeah. But you did you, but did you go? You okay, wouldn't go? Okay, yeah, but I'm not going to have sex with somebody. Oh, yeah, she I, knew I wasn't going to do anything with But, her. like, that's my yeah. thing, like. If you're gonna to come to my sex dungeon, you better be bitch, fucking. You better, you better, you better be. Yeah, I know. They were all like pissed off because they kept turning around and being like, "Are you gonna get in on this?" Yeah, and I was like, "No," <laughs> like that. Yeah. And so that was like a bummer for everybody. It would be because it's yeah, like, why are you here? I was just judging. I was judging that hell oh out. Lord. Where was the sex yeah. place in Atlanta somewhere? Okay, let's go. Was it like yeah? I want to go back and like, look around. Atlanta. So it, it was like a... We, what if we all go in there like giggling and just look around? <laughs> We're going to do the podcast from, the, from that location next time. Yeah. Good yeah. So, yeah, it was a heterosexual place though? It's a wherever it flies. But, no, but okay. I was, what I was saying is like... Hey, um, hey, nope. Sorry. Nope. What I was saying is oh. like all the guys kept lining up to have sex with this woman and it's like that's how I view men. Okay. 
It was this terrible. Oh, vagina. that's like a fucking small minority. Look, Come no, 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 no. Here, here's what I'm picking up. You're saying that you would have sex with her just because she's letting it happen. Yeah. Is, here's what I hear you saying: <laughs> having sex with a fat woman is the same as having sex with a dog. <laughs> It was a really bad. You could pick up, right? It a, but it was a really. Uh, are you done huge... with it? I'll take it and sit down. But look, look, yeah. look. I don't just, know if this dog allowed to eat. Like, there's no. a huge difference between okay. a woman who just happens to have a few extra pounds on her okay. versus okay. another fucking animal, a dog. Yeah. It's not the same. Like I'm attracted to answer the question of would you have said because they would they were turning around and they was like they were saying to you. What, you want to get, hey, you you get, get in on this? this? Yeah, yeah. Pers personally, I'm not fucking sticking my dick in some cum hole that has a bunch of other guys. Okay, what about it. you? No, absolutely not. I'm not into that. Why the fuck? I Plus, would, I would married, run a place that so. makes money off that, but I would never go in there. Yeah, you would. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what? Maybe we should you try to. Open I would run a strip club, and I, but I would Dude, never go should, in there. Y'all should, y'all should you open know? a place I'm for that. that. Honestly, just so we can watch and stuff, like just so we can be like, yeah, look at all these insane people. Here. Well, they have like, sex, but, but sex you're shows. taking that as if that's the majority. That's nowhere near the majority. Like, but, like I guess yeah. what I bet most of them are kind of unsightly. Yeah, that's by, what I'm saying. Men, the men are probably like have now. I, I hate to judge. See now you got me judging, but yes, I tend to agree. Yeah, I'm sorry. I tend to agree. I've been pretty judgmental today. I'm hungover. Sorry, guy gave you eyes for a reason. No, hey, that's that's the. It's good. like eating food, though. If you see some nasty ass food, you're not gonna eat it. It's the same shit. You fucking judge it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a Chick Fil A reason. A guy gave you eyes to judge the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. You know what though? But I will say this: some food looks like shit. Like Indian food looks like throw up. But guess what? It's delicious. Yeah. One of the best I, foods. Kangaroo chicken's that shit, dude. Yeah. That's so, that shit. What? So you're comparing that to a vagina? Then? Absolutely. No, I'm I like my tandoori chicken extra wet, and he likes it. Sometimes dry, but he's also from. I can't unsee what I'm I saw. There. Africa. Why are you doing all this shit? Why are you going to like fucking sex rooms and fucking? As a comedian, like I feel like I have to um, expand my horizons or yeah. whatever. You think that would make you better? As One a time I passed a. Like yeah. Yes. That's what you're missing. That's what. That's what my. The next from. day you go on your open mic stage and you're like, <laughs> I was at a sex dungeon last night. I saw a lot of things. I uh, I passed a roadkill cat, you know, like a freshly killed cat on the road. How do we get on this? And so I, I passed it and I go, I'm a comedian. I need to expand my horizons. I turned, did a U-turn and went back to the cat to look at it. Okay. That, Why? What, did you get any jokes out of that? Yeah, I'm so confused. <laughs> so, I saw this fucking cat. Yeah, I don't think it's dead. I think it you was might want to, maybe, wild. you might want to get into poetry. <laughs> yeah. Death is good for poetry. Comedy too, I guess. God. Okay, so like, what did you observe with this when's, cat? When's the last time y'all went through and looked at a roadkill item? Like pulled over and looked at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a bathroom doctor, so I don't know. Like like what you're talking about is like it's a necessity, but I don't like taking enjoyment out of it. <laughs> so have you done it though? Like have you pulled over and looked at a roadkill? I have. Mm-hmm. My dad made me. It's a it's a scene, you know. It's a dramatic scene, like it's a bland roadway, and there's this dramatic scene. I, 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 I've I've saved body. turtles too, like yeah, save the turtle, dude. Mm -hmm. I've thought about saving turtles. It was at the curb. You got to pick it up. The curbs, you know, are tall, and sometimes yeah. they can't get over the curbs, man. I, I yeah, I fantasized about it. I was like, you know what, it would be cool if I had to save that turtle. Yeah, yeah. And you just kept on I'm such a good person. Yep. Yeah. That's how it goes. I saw a fox one time that had a broken leg crossing the road. Oh, that broke my heart. I didn't say that. Uh, but foxes are smart as shit. He'll figure it out. The thing <laughs> is, is that animals people give a fuck so much more about animals. Like, like, like seriously though, there was yeah. a story. This was two years ago. There was a story. I, I, I have a bit about it. But two years ago, it was in Chicago. The story was um, neighborhood bands together to take care of dead homeless man's cats. Right. So I read the story. <laughs> right. And the story talks about how. The homeless man died from fucking freezing. The, the guy literally froze to death. And then after the guy froze to death, the neighborhood banded together and fed his cat. Mm -hmm. you so know what like, the fuck? Like, what? Great job, guys. Mm -hmm. Great job. Think about, yeah, like, think why about do you, if the coronavirus were not people, but, like, dogs. Dude, people would be freaking the fuck people out. People would be wearing masks a lot more. They'd be like, oh, my God, it's killing all the dogs. Okay, okay. It's true, though. We didn't touch on the coronavirus as much as I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys anti-maskers? Cool. Cool. 
No. Oh, I love you. I love you, but I do not want you. I just don't want to like. A lot of people would say that we are super irresponsible for sitting here together not wearing masks. Only if we end up going around people who are at risk after this. That's the I don't only time like old people, so I'm not going to go around them. That's, that's, yeah. that's what, uh, that, but that's where it is. Though. I'm serious. Like, but like she, I, I feel like she's going to go to mass tomorrow and go around all the old people because of the population. She's going to go to Sunday mass. She's going to get everybody why think, sick. Why do you think that's she's Catholic? Idea. Why do you think she's Catholic? Oh, I'm not assuming she's Catholic. I just think she wants to kill old people. Yeah, and Sunday last... mass is a great place for old people. She, she can't kill anybody. Dude, that's such a good idea if I go to, like, I just go through, like, Churches or something. Yeah, and, like, wait. Do you pray think you can do it? You can do it. Uh, yeah, like, you can do it. Like, some are. Some are just Let like. Me ask you, do, do you think? Do you assume she's Catholic because of her last name? No, but maybe. I don't know. Maybe subliminally. You guys both have Spanish sounding last names. I, I went to Catholic school for for a little bit of time as well. I went to Ascension Catholic school for for enough time to love Catholic. Are you school. Catholic? Who me? No, that's ghetto. Catholic is ghetto. That's ghetto. Yeah. What? Okay. I'm like, what does that even mean? Catholic <laughs> is ghetto. Fuck. This is a new world. What religious ethnicity are you? Who me? Yeah. Uh, we already established you went to Catholic school. I mean, we don't, we don't, con we don't um, condone any of that. I guess. Yeah. What religion? Yeah. So your family just some of my, some of my family is Baptist. <laughs> in Georgia. In Georgia, where they come from? England. They came from England over yeah. here, and they're Baptist. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think England is like the Church of England, some fucking shit, because they broke away from the Catholic. They, still, they got hella Protestants too. That's what the whole IRA uh, Ireland fight is the the people who are Protestant versus the Catholic Irish. People. Okay, I heard about this um this uh, dude who went to Ireland and he ordered a Jameson on his flight, and everybody called him a proddy bastard. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. He drank Jameson. Is this Twitch or what is this like right now? YouTube. That's YouTube. So it's, are we on live? YouTube live? Yeah. So it's like it streams it live and then when it's done, it saves it and then you publish it as a video. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Thanks. Right? I don't know. How else would you do it? It's the best way to Well, because otherwise you're like, you film it and then you take the SD card out oh, yeah. and you try to It would be upload. better quality if we'd up we really? did that shit, though. Yeah, this is going to be all Is it it's grainy? Yeah, it's going to be kind of fuzzy. Well, I don't know. Multigrain is Because it's the computer sure. camera. Yeah. <laughs> Multigrains are good for you. Yeah, yeah, sure is. It'd make your heart cholesterol better. People from England um, are in, like down with Cheerios all the time, right? You, also, can, you can attest to that. They munch you a lot You said Cheerios? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, they have terrible teeth and they love Cheerios. That's like a goodbye greeting. Who, when were you? What? What? Uh, how far back would your family come from England? I don't know. You don't want to talk about it. We don't know anything about our history. Our family. You history. haven't done the thing where you shit in the tube and you send. Why? Tube. Nobody wants to talk, talk about it. it. No, no, nobody. Is your family all weird and shit like that? It was that? just so much like racism and stuff or whatever guess, slavery too. that nobody wants to talk about. What Say, happened. Slavery against too. Yeah, we don't, we don't, like, my great-grandmother and stuff, we don't know is what, what was going on. Was she, did she have a slave? Like, I don't know. Okay. Wait, they don't want to talk in, about Was she it. in England? Did you, do you have that? Do y'all have no, those families here? No, I don't have that shit. Uh, nobody from my family is from the South. Oh, okay. His family is, though. They probably had a slave. I asked I one time, know. last time I was there, probably I actually not. asked... Weird. And they brought out a wallet made out of their a slave's back. What? What in the, yeah. the fuck? fuck? Yes, dude. That's bullshit. No, it's not. A wallet? They said that he asked that the slave himself was really happy and liked them, the, the people, and my great-grandfather or whatever it is, and that he said, when I die, make a wallet out of my back. A wallet? And, what the fuck? And I don't believe that. I don't think that you... He would have said that. He would have been like, yeah, I know that I made you guys a lot of money, so I want you to keep it in my skin. He said like day. they were so close and like they like loved each other that okay. when he went to when he was dying, he was like, I want to be this is what I was told. I want to be of use. I still want to be of use. So make things out of my skin. It did not make sense until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as someone who's worked wait, in the service industry, so you gotta have it, a purpose. Wait, you where, gotta is have this, a purpose. Yeah. where is this wallet? They brought it out. Where? Who's they? I'm not gonna give you the location. It, it, like, I don't Who think is it's, they? I don't There's think it's a slave wallet. I want it's your location. skin wallet. <laughs> I don't think it's like it's crazy. It's my comment like, what I say. Okay, I'll, oh, I shit. think it's Matt Wheeler. I want your skin wallet. Is that my dad? Uh, no. Shit in a tube. Shit in a tube. Yeah. Shout out to Matt Wheeler. 
Shout out Matt Wheeler. Okay, so there's a skim wallet in your family that's like the most covenant thing in your family. Okay, we get it. I don't think that's yeah. Like covenant. we get it. We understand. Like they have it, and it's important. And uh, you don't want to tell us about so, your origins so because of that. So fucked up shit has just been in your family for a long time, <laughs> and it's passed on generationally. Yes. Like, generation. uh, but Absolutely. back then you were allowed to just butcher somebody or whatever it is. Absolutely. It's different and problem. now I think it's illegal. Like if yeah, if somebody so came and. Found that there, they'd be like, "Oh, yeah. you're not allowed to have that." I'm pretty there's, sure, yeah. There's a yeah. Did, when you were at UGA. Do you remember they told they there was like a book made out of somebody's oh, skin? Oh yeah, I remember that book. at UGA. They have it. It's made out of like human skin. Which it's like, look, if somebody's gonna be dead, make leather stuff out of make it. Make a book out of it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You heard it now, Tony. It's on Perez film. I would like to, a book, you know, color pages, preferably. <laughs> if there's enough skin. I'm gonna make a pop out book. And his dick is gonna pop out of <laughs> I was born with a small dick and all my friends have small dicks. Small dicks are big enough for me. How do you know your friends have small dicks? Well, because we all hang out and fuck each other. You know? <laughs> okay. According to her, and then afterwards we all fuck our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and goats too, right? And then on the weekends you go out to like the farm and like fuck a goat. And you yeah. always make sure to bring your like yeah. Mom's uh, makeup with you, so you yes, absolutely. He'll fuck anything if you're not, yes, except for a blow up doll, yes, except for a blow because because I care about the environment, damn it, yeah, yeah, care about the environment. Do you ever put sand in the goat's asshole before you fuck it? If you're trying to replicate certain cultural standards, I think that's a smart idea, yeah, if you want to be more culturally yeah. like rounded, and stuff, yeah, for sure, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely, yeah, um. Yeah, but grizzly bears do that same shit when they fight. Uh, whoever wins the grizzly bear fight gets to I fight. Think, I think that's pretty normal. I think yeah. like that's being like a, a winner is like makes you. <laughs> I'm a winner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, you think that's funny? Why is that funny to be a winner? Yes. Why is so funny about being? You a like murder. You hate LeBron James, huh? You like murder other animals. <laughs> and then no, you don't murder them. You just make them back down. Yeah. Like, all right. For example, grizzly bears. Okay. I don't know if you've ever been taught, but if you ever see a grizzly bear in the wild, you need to put your arms up like this, make direct eye contact, and run straight at it, okay? Because oh, yeah. here's the thing. Prey is never going to do that. Yeah. If you run, it's going to run after you. It's like the cops. Yeah. It's like the cop. They're going to think you're running for a reason. Yeah, if you're running from the cops. cops, they think you have a fucking kilo. And if once they find you, they're going to tear up your fucking nice leather seats because they're convinced you have a fucking kilo because no one would run that far or that hard. But you really just don't like the police. This guy gets pulled over. Um, I think prevention is key. Just like don't be in those situations. Yeah, I wouldn't run at a grizzly bear. But if you were, but if I you would... were there, but if you're there, what choice do you have? You fucking run at it. The only thing running at a grizzly bear is another grizzly bear or a moose. You have a choice, right? Yeah. You, it, you're probably gonna die, but maybe you won't. I haven't tested I heard it. What it about the field? But I, heard... I would like to. You do this, like seriously. When I stand up like this, you can't see it on the camera, but look how fucking high that is. But I'm. Small. You can see it on the camera. <laughs> like, no, this, God damn. like, hey, this this motherfucker is tall. Like, of all things, I you stand up. Of all things that. I just I say about Tony Perez. Tall. His height is one of the main things. Yeah, you're like the tallest. Up, I, I'm just saying, like, if you, if look, you look, look at like this that, look how tall this motherfucker is. If you put it like that, I don't even know. I haven't even been measured. But I'm just saying, shit. he's like a foot taller than me. If you if you <laughs> run at the grizzly bear, I think it would work. I think it would work. You only got uh 15 percent battery left. All right, that's it. We're about to wrap up the shit. I think it would work. I'm just saying. I, my advice to you: I would like to test it in the field, but I'm pretty sure it would work stop going to put in the field. Now, polar bear would never do that too, because polar bears are vicious and they're afraid of nothing. Yeah, polar bears are the most well, who vicious. Who wants to go to their shithole climb anyways? I, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, polar bears. What if I'm going salmon hole. fishing? You're gonna find a grizzly bear. If you're going salmon fishing, that means the salmon runs out. Wait, you don't play dead? I've been to Alaska. I've seen a grizzly bear. Yeah, dude, <laughs> tr- I haven't. I'd like to. I'm gonna tell a story really? about I mean, you seeing can, a grizzly you bear. You fit in, you know. I was with. Uh, yeah, like, I'll take that as a compliment. I was in. Uh, I was in Canada with my uh, parents, and uh, we were driving down like the scenic road, and my mom sees a grizzly bear on the side of the road. Mm-hmm. My dad pulls over. She rolls down the window. Sticks her whole body out of the out of the Dang. door, like super close. It's close as I am to you right now, and takes a picture of the grizzly bear. But and she, the grizzly bear is eating a dead bird on the road, and then she, get, she goes like this, ah, <laughs> like she's like, like I want a face shot, like a dog, and it looks up at her, and she takes a picture of it. Oh my lord, that's kind of neat. Yeah, if, really, I, if I was a in really a car, if I was in a car, I'd get out and kind of like mess around. And then get back in the car. Oh, no way. I think you're gonna die one day. They'll bust through the window. Uh, Never no, go in the wild with Christy. That's Dude, I won't. Like, I won't park the car. You just break it. I guess you put it in park for a second. Okay. 
Like, do you have anything that's like worth anything? Do you? Is there some like? Because what do you mean? I mean, like all the things that you're doing, I've just <laughs> something bad's gonna happen. To like, you. why do we? We're, we're worried. Anything, we're all worried. I mean, if you have anything <laughs> right. like? I mean, do you have like a nice yeah. car? This is an do you have, like, jewelry? Right now. Like, um, I'm, a I'm sorry. I, I, I associate human sex. <laughs> I was going to ask, like, can I get that from you when you die? That's a fair question. I don't really have anything, no. Well, that's a downer. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You want to be nice jewelry or Look, something? Look, I'm a minimalist. So. Yeah, okay. I, we already yeah, talked about Yeah, a minimalist religion. doesn't come up in here wearing those fucking glasses and that thing on her head. Yeah. You look like a, like a, you got too much stuff like on a, you look like a 60s hippie. Good. Good one. I don't like, I'm not a cool. fan of free love. I, I don't know. If it was cool, I guess. I mean, I'm you good have, for love. You, said I'm, you just price. said I'm not a fan of I'm free love. I'm not a fan love. of free love. No, the whole concept of free love, it was a, it was a joke. He pays you know, for his I, love. I, I really like the concept. It's uh, so Iranian of you. It is kind of Iranian of me, but more more like uh, third century Persian, if you want to get specific. How about gift cards? Do you have any gift cards you haven't used? I'm about to use it. Okay. <laughs> like, can I get, can I get some of those? And I'm about to use it for DSW. Okay. All right, cool. What's, what's a DSW? It's, it's like a, a shoe, shoe store or some Designer shoe, shoe warehouse. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's what it stands for? Yeah. I would have died not knowing that. Yeah, if me you had told me that. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to try to forget. I knew about DSW. I'm gonna try to <laughs> like, DSW, is that a gang? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Right. So you no. wouldn't like, um, you would. That's the thing, because I would suggest it to you, and you would just do it right away. So do what? acting like you wouldn't. What? Um. We we're in the car and this is the road and there's a grizzly bear standing over there minding its own business turned around. I'd be like, all right, just you open the door and stand out. You don't close the door behind you. You just stand there and so you're like next to a grizzly bear and you're like, hey bitch! Like, can you yell at it? Yeah. And then when it turns around and starts coming over, you get back in the car. We drive. I'm not even playing that. Shit, that's like man. ding dong ditch. That's cruel. Cool. <laughs> I'm that's not even cool. like. Don't poke the bear. You never heard that. Shit? Don't poke uh, the bear. Yeah, you had to give him bacon or something. You I would. Leave I would act, yeah, I would you actually be nice something. to the bear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Because bears remember like elephants. That's rude to be like mean to it because it could be a nice. Do y'all know that guy Timothy Treadwell? The yes, okay. I love that dog. Dude, so he Grizzly fucking man. died. But you know why he died is because he brought a lady friend with him who was afraid of fucking bears. Like she, she would probably get eaten by grizzly bears. She has that Man, vibe. Right? I'm not gonna be out with them. It's fine. That guy was fucking crazy. He was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He would he talk to them and he had names. He's like, oh hey Carla, hey oh how are you? <laughs> like yeah, he, he would talk to him like that. It was fucking great. Yeah, they sound gay and shit. It was he. He did. He did. He was gay for the bears. <laughs> You think he tried to fuck a bear? I he think, probably would fuck. I think he got fucked by a bear. bear. I think he got fucked by a bear. If you want, you in his childhood, people. that's what. I think he slept naked okay. long enough, and one day one of them just was like, mm, "You know, honestly, though, at the end of that documentary, I'm like, I'm glad you're dead because you're fucking." He annoying. was crazy. That's yeah. one of my favorite documentaries. But he should have known. Unless he he should have known the salmon run was low, and he brought a lady with him who was afraid of. You bears. know what? And like, he had them cool ass foxes like following him around. That was Dude, why don't you be around the? Why don't you be all about She's the foxes? Yeah, the, fox, the foxes were my favorite part. They had a lot yeah, of Yeah, they were like just hanging with him. He a lot didn't of give a fuck about those foxes. A lot of personality. Foxes are crazy as shit. I mean, that is They're pretty foxy, dope though right? that he like could live off the foxy. grid. Dude, how crazy is I that? Fuck, hanging out with bears. Hanging out with fucking bears. I mean, I, I know. Really, what? He probably yeah. did this. He probably did that. That's probably where I picked it up now that I think about it. He probably did that. Yeah, what his ass got... What about playing? The last head? time it didn't work. He he must have blinked. No, he they he remember and remember they gave his like ex girlfriend the like video or something. Yeah, shit? there's the it was audio. It was audio Dude. of him being eaten and dragged away from the campsite. And, they and then ten show minutes it. later, yeah, and then ten minutes later, the bear comes back and eats the lady. She's like screaming, and then the bears come back and eat her. No, uh. Yeah, it's that fucking. That would gnarly. suck. That's it's a fucking long gnarly. Like, it is, but it's also yeah, like she, she was paralyzed. Like you think, why didn't she run? But she like knew where am I gonna go? I'm gonna fucking die. Yeah, I, I think she was like here. pretty like hot too. It's always sad when like a hot person dies. Much sadder yeah. than when a yeah. when yeah, like, ugly person. Well, because if it's oh, dark, yes. you don't know where to run. Like where are they? That's what I'm saying. You're just gonna die. Was yeah. it was it at night? I don't. Know I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was at night, but either way, she's in the middle of the wild. How's she gonna get back? You know. I imagine she should have like climbed up a tree. Right. No, bear, no, grizzly bears can climb trees. God, but you can kick them in the head. Uh, they eat them. your foot. They'll Dude, eat your I would foot. fuck up a grizzly bear, I, man. Yeah. Only, hey, your only chance is scaring it. Jiu -jitsu. Yeah, jiu -jitsu, oh, jiu -jitsu. any grizzly bears out there, come at me, bros. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I challenge you yeah. to come at If Once, you're a grizzly bear and you're out there and you think you could if you fucking beat me, 
come over here. Once you get them on the ground, dude, they're fucking yours. Man. Yeah. Once they're on the <laughs> ground. Once you get a full mount on that neat. bear, dude, are you kidding me? Dude, yeah, dude. Lights out, dude. Do a lights triangular out. choke on them and, Hell yeah. and fucking go-go plot. Yeah. You know what? So, you know what animal somebody should get obsessed with? Fucking raccoons. Like, I think that'd be kind of dope to, like, learn about fucking raccoons and, like, how they do shit. They're cool. Yeah, because they're kind of cool. Okay, so. And they're kind of hood, too, you know. I saw a video of this dump yeah. truck guy driver the other day, and he put a two-by-four in this in this dumpster. It's like, what's going on? And then all these raccoons get on it, and he lifts the two-by-four up, and then they all get off, and then he throws it. It's like, obviously, he's dealt with them enough to know yeah. that they hang out there. So, in my line of work, sometimes I deal with raccoons a little bit. Uh, okay. And uh, whenever they find raccoons in somebody's house, they always kill them. It's so sad. It is sad. Like this, the contractor wow. sent me a photo of a raccoon they found in somebody's attic. It was so cute, and I was, and so I, like I don't usually get personal about working shit, but I was like, "What do you do with them?" And they're like, uh, "We have to kill them." And I was like, "Why yeah, murder the shit?" <laughs> yeah, these like, murder, Dude, murder the shit. Liberals are are such a liberals. What? What, what, how is this fuck? What are you fucking? <laughs> like, Yo, let her finish her sentence. All right, go, go Sorry. Is it called when you, um a liberal when you're when Shit. When you say one thing, but then you do, you still do the other. Yeah, they're so hypocritical. No, yeah. and in Mark Sinai. But 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 let's let's be fair. Yeah, like we have both sides are fucking hypocritical. The Democrans and the Republicans. I mean, both sides are fucking. Fuck them all, man. Not, uh, you know, Fuck them all. I could find anybody dirty on either side. This got yeah. too boring. That this got fucked up shit going on. Straight up as hell. You should just sure. try to. Strive. And you need both sides for the airplane to fly. If one side's stronger than the other, you're flying in circles. You I try. I, I try really hard not to be hypocritical. Like. You know, it's that's tough. like important to me. It's integrity. It's tough. Yeah, integrity matters. Yeah, if I if I'm gonna be killing raccoons just for being in people's houses, I feel like that's hypocritical of me. Unless that's what you do and that's what you're about, and you fucking yeah, eat raccoons. you're just like a raccoon, raccoon murderer. Like you don't have the yeah. dog whisper, you're yeah. the raccoon murderer. There are people out there who do that. Rat yeah. killers. People. They they profit off of. Killing raccoons. I don't know. Like, if a raccoon tried to fuck me up, like, I would definitely... Like, rabies... Or, I don't know if y'all have ever seen a raccoon with rabies, but they're pretty terrifying. I mean, okay. they're fucking frothing up the mouth. They're running at yeah. you very aggressively. I'll shoot the shit out of a raccoon. I would fuck a raccoon, though. Well, I mean, we're men, so obviously we'd fuck we would, a raccoon. Yeah, I'd fuck a raccoon. raccoon. <laughs> I'd fuck a skunk. That wasn't in question. That was hey, assumed. I, I'm a little bit horny, dude. You guys have that skunk right there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the last time I was here, I was, like, holding that skunk. Absolutely. Skunk. All right, thank you, man. Yeah, did you cut a hole in it already? Yeah. yeah oh, uh, well, you know, you're way ahead of me, but uh, Yeah, it's like there's something Okay. Albert Einstein, <laughs> oh, here's no. Albert Einstein, one of the smartest oh. men, would still fuck a skunk, you know? Are there skunks skunks around here? Yeah. Not at that oh, point. Yeah. I think skunks carry rabies too. No, there's some sort of weird There's more armadillos than there are skunks. Armadillos like are a, from Mexico. I there's think. like a gopher That's animal racist. that lives around. <laughs> it lives under that old lady's house. Gophers are pretty chill, unless you're making a fucking garden. <laughs> oh, this is where, <laughs> you're this on where the fucking, podcast uh, is. <laughs> are you just like an animal expert? I fuck with animals. That's what I was trying to tell her. I like, I fuck with animals. That's my shit. Like, I'm not. Remember, remember educated, Animal but... Planet? Remember it. It's still oh, yeah, fucking like, around. It's still around. around. What's your favorite yeah, like, bird? My favorite <laughs> bird? It's got to be, the, it's a harpy that lives mm. in the Philippines and it eats small monkeys. It's a, Yo, do you whoa. like cats? Yeah, I like cats. I like I'm savannah like, cats. Go get I'm a cat. Go get my okay, cat. so do you do, do you know what savannah cats are? Yeah, I know yeah, what that those is. Those are fucking badass too. Guys. Yeah, that's too big of a cat. Oh, where's the dog? Oh, okay. okay. Do you, have you ever seen that video where the crow says fuck you to the guy? No. You know crows can talk? Yeah, I didn't know that crows can so talk. So crows can talk. You should have known. I mean, you... So the crow is like, fuck you. No, it, was like, beak. it was like, fuck you. And yeah. then the dude's reaction was so funny. He's like, he said, fuck you. Like, he was like, really surprised. Have you seen the video? No. He was really surprised. Crows are smart as shit. He was surprised by it, but he was crows like, bastard, not surprised enough. Like, I'm like, if I heard a crow say, fuck you to me, I'd be like, what in the fuck is happening? Yeah. My idea of reality has been. <laughs> yeah. Dismantled right now. A crow talking to me, telling me "fuck you." Ocho yeah. Cinco used to talk to pigeons, and he swore they talked back. I don't speak Spanish. Uh, <laughs> well, someday. someday. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Oh, Ocho Cinco is at 85. Yeah, hell yeah. You don't remember Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson? Uh -huh. He was a wide receiver Dude. for the Bengals. How old are you? I never. Well, I don't. I don't, I don't watch him. ESPN. I don't either. I don't but he was. He was a pop either. culture figure. He transcended. Yeah. Oh, a nice little Maine Coon. Hello, little kitten. I don't, I don't like Kyoto sports either. 
I tried to learn Spanish. I went to Mexico, and I think I could learn. I, I could speak Spanish just. Is as, it a guy or a girl? It's a girl. It's a, it's it's a dude. boy. It's a, it's a man. Hey, Usually, Lewis. all orange cats are boys. Really? Mm-hmm. Like eighty percent. My uh, I have a good friend that has a man His name is Jerry. We call him Jerry Bear. This one's name is Orange Cat. Uh, orange Cat. That's pretty good. I have a cat called good. Black Kitty, and I have a cat called White Kitty. So I understand that completely. This is the most chill cat ever. So oh, what a good kitty. I could speak Spanish just as good as I could sign language. And I don't speak sign language. I don't either. Man. So like my uh, like How communication skills were like. Me? Yeah. Yeah, we have two cats at the house. Um, one of them is normal. And <laughs> I don't, we don't They're like it because like <laughs> it makes eye contact with you. And like um, it like gets creeped. It like judges you. You like look back at it, you're like, hi, and it's like, oh, you're weird, and like it judges you. And then the stop. And then the other one is more like autistic, but he's chill, dude. He's down to hang out. He just doesn't make eye contact. Mm-hmm. So which one would you prefer? Like he he's fun. It's chilling. So do you think that like so many people have autism or you think you're just like making it up? I think everybody is looking at screens so much and like the uh, the eye contact that there's there's like something building like well that. you know it's not just about eye contact when it comes to it's, it's bad right? genes it's just bad fucking genes I've heard people that. fucking who shouldn't be fucking yeah, yeah it's, it's like seriously though if there's something we can My come up with good be like, genes. You yeah he's not autism? autistic at all no i just like no, I i've been i've been more and more socially anxious and then when i got sick i was watching youtube on my phone for 20 days and I literally it was so hard to like talk to people when I did. Because you're like, because you I was box. like, I haven't looked in, in someone's face shit. like in real life. Nobody in this room it's is a good autistic. Thing. Yeah, there you go. This is called. Dude, that. I took a test online and it uh, said I was very Monteleone. much not yeah. autistic. Well, I should take Let's a test. Kill the lion. Yeah, yeah, there's like tests online. Too gay, so. Goodness. Hey, stop that. Don't kill the lion is, makes a lot of sense because this guy's. I would like be a lion. so sad if that cat died, Josh. You know that. We would. He would never. He would never die. I mean, he would never kill the cat. But I think people yeah. like. I trust you. I, I think people you. are just getting all nervous. Like, like my little sister, she's not autistic, but she's so ner- she can't even um be at the cash register. Like when you're at, we're at the store, she's like, no, I'm. I get Why? anxious because people are like cradling I'm, anxiety. I'm nervous too, though. But I mean, I mean like, you got to get over it. I'm not saying I'm autistic. Yeah, no, you know, all these Gen Z kids, they're like, I, they talk about how they're afraid yeah, to even kid. order food at the. Uh, drive through because they're cradling that and people it's just causing more and more anxiety. a drive through was made because of anxiety they like they invented them so people who were embarrassed it was like anxiety, I, think it was capital, I think some of it's capitalism you can serve more people make more money but, I mean, but some the, of the first people who too. used drive throughs the idea is that they were too embarrassed to go it. in i don't know was that because of racism it's like you love the black food but Men. you hate black people is that a thing oh, look it up. <laughs> i can see that i don't I know I heard in Asia when they uh, introduced drive-throughs um, in China, people would they didn't understand drive-through, so they would go and order food in the drive-through. They would park yeah. and they go inside the restaurant and eat. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Look, it's what? Stupid. In in China when you they know introduced drive throughs When I was in Korea, I didn't see any drive-throughs. I'll well, because it's not a car. Why you were you were in the city though, right? It's a different but culture. yeah, like the yeah. There's no drive-throughs and, there's, and, there's, and you can smoke cigarettes too. everywhere, right? Um, in Korea, I don't know. I mean, cigarettes weren't very popular. I went in 2002. Maybe we could say they're more of a health focused culture. Well, I don't know, man. Korean people drink this shit. Not my mom, though. You smoke? Yeah, they smoke a lot. And they drink a lot. Vietnam, they smoke a lot. I've heard. I've never been out of the country. You've never been out of the country. No, you never been out. And you look like you. that. Yeah, I only no. I, I I got here and then since then I've never been out of the country. <laughs> Are you not allowed to go out of the country? Oh, you know I'm allowed. There's a lot of implications. You know, there's a lot of implications. I just haven't had the opportunity. You should go to Mexico, yo. Yeah, no, I don't want to go there. Well, maybe Mexico City, but we there's some places I do want to go. But maybe in not. March during the lockdown. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. we, my we boss is like, "Are you players. leaving?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, bye." Oh, yeah. Because I was scared of coronavirus before it like got here. Like I was on Reddit conspiracy. I was like, listen, man, China's lying to us. Look on Reddit conspiracy. This is gonna be a bigger deal than what it is. Blah 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 blah. And people were like, shut up, Arlene. And guess what? I was right. 
though. It, it, it do be a bioweapon, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because this is my thing. If somebody just ate a bat and got coronavirus, first off, you don't eat raw bats. You have to cook it. That would kill whatever. But, but here's here's the idea. All right. Yeah. But but the idea would be, let's say it was a Chinese place where they're doing testing on animals, right? Let's show you this shit. <laughs> let's just let's just understand that if you're in a yeah, cold market where there's not a lot of regulation, once you're finished testing on these animals, why wouldn't you sell them? You make money on both ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, I'm I just saying. Like, I'm just saying. Why wouldn't you though? I'm not saying that's what happened. But why the hell would yeah, you? Yeah, I would do that. It's like, dude, yeah. I finished with these bats. You can have them. I'll give yeah. it to you half amount that a normal bat would cost. You yeah. know, you think you're getting a deal. I'm half getting real shit. You know. Yo. So before yeah. this happens, speaking of eating bats, we were watching. Me and Josh. We used to watch Naked and Afraid a lot. And Josh was like yeah, obsessed with eating bats. He was like, I want to eat a bat so much. And then coronavirus happened. Yeah. He was like, never mind. I don't what about bat jerky? Bat. You think bat jerky is good? I would oh, do it. Yeah. If somebody just, made bat, if somebody just, What about bat eat. wings? Like frog legs are good? I bat mean, wings like, could be good, right? Animals, yeah, yeah almost like crispy. pork rind or something, right? Yeah. Uh, but I don't you guys know. ever watched The Three Amigos? If there was, um. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not a communist. <laughs> Dude, I would, eat, I would eat a sloppy Jesus. joe of like shredded bat meat. They talk about, oh, my God. Yeah. I'm not, if it was prepared right, you know. You know, who wouldn't need a sloppy Joe? Uh, Indonesians. They want a dry Joe. Uh, they didn't know how to make manwich ever there. It would be terrible. The rice would be dry, but they like dry rice too. Shit. Do they like, like dry rice? If they like I dry vaginas, they must I think like it, I think it transfers. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. think it transfers. They probably like dry skin too. I would never make it there. You're gonna right. get. You're gonna eat. Where it. you're like, dude, it's wet season. What can it's I do? Dog, it's like I'm trying to get to a tropical area. I'm trying to get to a place where the low is seventy and the high is like ninety. Yeah, that's like where it's at. Like I'm like a fucking lizard in that. Maybe regard. it's because they're tired of monsoons and floods, Maybe. so they really appreciate dryness. I could see that. They get it's, it's, fuck. It's all coming. Like if you're culture. poor, you know everything. It's like if you're rich or poor. Mm -hmm. If you're poor in Indonesia, you're probably wet because like you're out in the rain. Yeah, it's rain <laughs> season. Yeah. And if you're rich, you're like. Dude, Yo. feel how dry I am. <laughs> okay. So true, I sent man. this text to my friend yeah, on true. January 27th about the Rona. And yo, man, look at that. Which, Check it. which Rona? Check it. That's like, that's the map of where the Rona was in comparison yeah. to what mark. It's, it's fucking eight miles away. The bio. Eight mile. You know that shit. <laughs> it's it's from the bio lab. Music. It's, you from the bio lab. it's on Reddit. Hey, would you guys ever do like email. rap battles? Would you ever like. You want to do rap battle? I personally can't Absolutely. really do it. Like, I'm not good at it. You're going to love when you have Jacob Merriman on and some people from Chattanooga. They, Yo, they, they, I know I'm going to have them on. Battles. Yo, okay. I'm gonna have and this on. is before, this is uh, before I like, they were recently. reporting all their numbers. You see that? That's a that's some burning uh, on their bodies. Look yeah, but how did, you know, how did you know I was going to have him on, though? Because people talk. Look, Who talks? I, I do. I was like, do you know Josh Harris? You told? Are you the one who told me to told him to get on? Um, that could be. I didn't say anything, but um, that could have given him an idea. Okay, yeah. I did the scene. He, All said, right. he said that he knew you. Shout out to Jacob Mer Merriman. Merriman, I think. Merriman. Shout out to Jacob Merriman. We're gonna have his ass on the podcast. Merriman, here. Merriman. Where is that? And he'll rap with whenever you. he gets his fucking uh, car who fixed. Is that? And you have Jimmy Nerfolk or whatever. Wait, and Ben. Who? They all can rap. Freestyle. Wait, All right, we're gonna have a rap right battle. Person? Chattanooga Comic Con. Uh, some motherfuckers from Tennessee. You're going to invite them here? Uh, I don't know where we're gonna do it. We're gonna they're gonna be the podcast though. And they yeah. don't have a car. They'll come do a show. I don't hang with poor people. <laughs> like I'm, I need to leave. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I've mis, I've misrepresented myself. <laughs> Again. Yeah, just like. Yeah, like I can't be like giving people money. his tr his like transmission broke. Tune in for the next That's episode like deal. with yeah. Jacob Merriman. Hey, is that is that that kid? He's like white. Yeah, he's like white. <laughs> he's like young though, right? Yeah, he's know. young. He's like, you like po you posted something about him, didn't you? I think he's I think I saw cute. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a little cute something kid. about him. He's, he's a little cute, cute white. Kid. Yeah, he's are y'all putting it together yet? He's not ugly. Uh, is what I'm trying to say. I would, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't have to know what. Fuck, yeah, man. You just yeah. put this shit on the fucking Is that the one you had the drug with? Yeah, you? yeah. Uh uh, that was somebody else. <laughs> like, no, that was, that was that somebody in New York. That was the Jew. The Jew? In New York. The beautiful yeah. Jew? Yeah. Oh, I totally yeah. relate to that joke, though, because I know some like really coffee Jews, too, dude. 
What does that mean? Coffee Jews? Yeah, like you were saying, like the further they are from Israel, like the more coughing. And oh, like, coughing. Yes. Yeah, like I have a friend, he's like super Jewish and like sweaty and like coughing all the time. He's always like itching. He's always like scratching. <laughs> he's always scratching That's his good. Face. I should add that. Dude, They're he's always scratching. Itching. He's always scratching his face. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? He has with rashes. You? Right. Yeah, he has like, rashes. All right. okay. He's all fucked up. Let's stop talking about Jew rashes, and we're gonna back back up to um, yeah, Jew rashes. Jason Merriman. And, um, His name is Jacob guy, Merriman. And your yeah. um, passionate uh, encounter with him. Yeah, you did. So, you did see my video of him. No, I didn't see a video of him. Oh, okay. I and you posted something about like you ran into some dude or something. Yeah. Uh, so, um, it was a video he, of him rapping. No, I didn't see that shit. So, um, his rap skills is the reason that you fucked him. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I it was honestly the situation was I was in uh, Nashville trying to um, ask Theovan on a date. So <laughs> I, I, I drove. He's, 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 famous, he's famous, like the best comedian. comedian. I went from I drove from New York to Nashville and literally, and literally went to a show and I went to three of his shows trying to ask him out on a date and I couldn't do it. Dude, there's so much security. Why do you, think, so you, why do you think you can do that shit? Huh? Why do you think you can get away with that shit? I, I was gonna be nice about. It. I was just gonna be like, if, if you, know, you don't like, I know that you don't like. When, like when I'm not like going that, out and like, like asking like Ali Chong on dates and shit. You know what I mean? What the fuck? <laughs> Now I'm just saying, like, why do you think? Theo Vaughn says he wants three mixed Latina children. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. I'll do it. I'll do it. And so, anyways, like, I tried to ask him out, and um, it was so depressing because every time I would go home, and like, it was like, fuck, I wasn't able to even do it, and like, and it's so creepy being there because like all these other comedians are there, and they're not. Nashville is not like the community is not that chill. Like it's hmm. very. No, weird. I've heard that they're a little, you know, a little bit it's more not, inclusive. I, I mean, mean, I would gotta, gotta hang around and, and, and no I did, dude. I was there for a month, and I was with them all the time. It's, they're just not. There's nobody in there that you really connect hmm. with, and it's weird. But um, so then I drove to Chattanooga, and I saw what I felt was a young Theo Vaughn. Jason Merrimel. And so I asked him out immediately. I, I uh, immediately got his number and texted him. Yeah. It's like yeah, you got something like it. You you did it. I was did like, as as you there could. we go. He's sober, just like Theo Vaughn. Okay. Oh, did, is he like in recovery? Yeah, he's like all about it. You know. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. So, um, that was just like one time thing. What do you mean? You said you said you said you fucked this dude. Let's <laughs> so, so so it's like yeah, yeah. All right, no, we're together. Let's... We're gonna get married. Really? Yeah. When? Once he gets some money. He needs <laughs> oh, some spoken money. like a woman. Yeah. Spoken like a woman. That's fair. Yeah. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't marry anybody who's broke either. Yeah. Not about that. Shout out to me. Shout out. I mean, you're okay. You're not like balling, balling. Who me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's what you're for. I mean, like, I don't, need, I just need somebody that, like, can hold their end of the bargain. Like, I don't need somebody to pay for shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you have your transmission, like, he's been, he doesn't have his transmission for, like, a month. Yeah, he was supposed to be there last night, yeah. but he didn't make it. He was supposed to be on the car. show last night. You yeah, know. when you need a new, yeah. when you need a new transmission, you just need a new car. Yeah, I know. Does and he have good credit? Unless it's like a really uh -uh, cool car. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to shit, say because like cars you have can, like you know you can get like, like yeah, like a Firebird or something. Yeah, like you, if it's some good credit. shit, you want to save know. it. Yeah, I put a transmission. I don't know anything Cadillac, about that. You know, if it's if it's a good there you enough, go, if it's a good enough old enough car. Sorry, we're, I'm, I'm sorry. But this the, we were supposed to be highlighting Tony Perez. It's supposed to be the Tony Perez. Yeah. Show. <laughs> Start talking about who's Chrissy Perez fucking. This is the Tony Perez show. Um, yeah, and like her fucking questions about goats and shit. So who are you fucking? <laughs> I'm like right now, yeah, no one. Who I, are you I wish I was fucking lady comedy, but there's just not enough going on right now. Dude, uh, come out. Are you I'm fucking trying, anybody? You know, everybody. I'm trying to pay my rent. I'm trying to keep the lights on. I'm trying to stay. Yeah, out it's of trouble. hard when you're broke. It's hard to go after. It's the uh, it's it's kind of like that right now. But I'm I'm happy to be alive. Is is kind of where I'm at. I'm sad to be alive. Are you like what was your latest relationship? Tell us. It's it's been a, a, a long time. It's it's been long enough to where it's not even worth mentioning. Dude, you act like you're 40. I might as well be 40, <laughs> man. I've had uh I'm not trying to say I've had like a lot of experience. Everybody's had a lot of experience. 
I just I'm just trying to like make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does it, that mean? It means like I'm not looking for anything. I'm just percolating. You know what I'm saying? I don't know like, what that means. I percolating really mean is percolating. his word. Like, like how 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 better can I describe it? Like. Like I'm just percolating. He's like, just you know, a like, carbonated drink fizzing in the wind. Exactly. I'm like I'm coral eating. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like a coffee maker. You know? Like I'm. I like, don't know what percolating even. Means. It's like a coffee maker. <laughs> like, for it's like, like percolating like means old. getting oxygen to the top. You can also like interpret it as like Dude, having that's a what good I, idea. A carbonated drink. Percolates. Yeah. Exactly. Or, yeah. Coffee. But uh, aren't you like lonely? I mean, like, uh, look. The reality is, is when you have money to spend on somebody, it's a lot easier to be lonely versus when you're literally like, I got to make it like rent. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's just a different beast. You know what I'm saying? Like, like even if there was the most perfect woman in the world in front of me right now, are you pointing at I me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have ready. Me, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, obviously I pointed in that direction, but you understand what I'm saying? Oh, like, I'm I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have anything to offer. Like I'm just trying to pay my rent. You know what I'm that's saying? What, like, that's what, get a job. Then, I, right? I, I have, I have a job, but like life is expensive. You know, I, I have, did you, did you go to like college? No, I went to many colleges, but I did not get any degrees. Guys, you know we're alive, right? You now, can right? like what about it? Go to welding school. Saying, like, right? Go to I have my brother went to welding school. Yeah, and it worked out pretty well. Yeah, do that. Well. Be but, an electrician. Nah, electricity is magic, even more than gypsies. Dude, you know about fucking roofs. Go be a Shit. fucking roofer. I don't want man, I, I have a I have People a always need qualifications. I can't if something were to happen, I would not be very well off. I can't be in anything. I can't stand on a fucking ladder. Oh, I can't yeah, ride a bicycle. Sure, I can't yeah. be on a fucking dirt bike. You know, it's like I used to ride a motorcycle every day. Like yeah, that was my shit. You know what I'm saying? Me. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm happy to be alive. What? Like, what did you say about that? You go, we, you know, we're live. We've been live for like three hours. What do you? Yeah, mean? I mean, I feel like you guys forgot that, like you thought. We're you just turn like, around huh? to him and you go, we need to interview <laughs> Tony Perez. It's the Tony Perez show. I'm interviewing. She started interviewing him. And you passed out. I'm like really good at interviewing people. You know. You're tr you're supposed to be my co-host. <laughs> He's like, you're not helping me. You're supposed yeah. to help me out tonight, okay? You're supposed to okay, be. So you're supposed you to be the yin to the yang. Okay, so like you yeah. can't do anything physical. I can't do any of the cool shit. Anymore. Dude, it sounds like a lot of excuses. It is. It is. Man, you're prime target for like maybe you, you know, could be Bernie a stripper. Sanders. Oh lord. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> Whew. I wouldn't say that, but uh, I'm just saying like like. Life is fucking awesome, and if if there's a scenario where I can you get laid, I'm always going to pursue it. How do you know anything? <laughs> I I think that that's again that that's very relative. Just by going out of the country, the places that you went, were you there? Or were you there? You know what I mean? Like you went to Mexico City, Real talk. but did you go to Guadalajara? Like like I understand what you're saying, and I respect that, but I think it holds zero weight. Like you have to experience something. You have to live there. I, I'm not saying you have to be poor there. But me not having gone outside of the country, I've been blessed to have worked a lot of shitty jobs with a lot of foreign people. I'd make the argument that I know a lot more about a lot of cultures than people who have been out of the country. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. It's relative. It's relative. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, like, since you worked with all these, you could be like a freaking negotiator for like, you know, all no, you these cultures. I, I, did that. I tried to do that. You cannot do that. Oh. What, negotiator? You have to be. It's it's bureaucracy. There's no. They don't what, have negotiating it. what? Uh, peace. Peacemaking. You can like these would be fucking awesome. That would be awesome to do that, but I, I think that'd be very people. dangerous. You could be kidnapped and murdered and all some cool shit like that. Like negotiating peace sounds like very dangerous. It's a bureaucratic job. You just bring in a packet of paper uh, that other people wrote. Are we talking about like the UN? Yeah. No. They don't yeah, have I don't I always I, I always thought because I ended the up UN trying divides. to go peace. I don't care about people. I tried to go be a peacemaker. <laughs> I only care about myself. You work for the UN? I work Jesus. there. I try that to explains your global views. My God. that ex You think there's too many people and you work for the UN. It, it all makes they sense. Do it at, towards the end. It all they, makes sense. Towards now. the end, they had me working on UN population, which is a whole yeah. department that oh likes people to have a larger population of every year. They're like, they're like, oh, Nigeria is doing a good job. Right. They multiplied their population by two. It's like... Should we be going the other way? No. Why do you think that? Do you, th do you want the human race to go extinct? I think the human race. We just, we just. I mean, I don't care because I'll be dead. So we just I, I disagree mean, on how we like people. I just don't really like people. I guess I don't think that by having less humans guarantees less poverty. It would just be different proportions. It yeah. would just be different proportions. You could be right. Poverty. I just can't um, still have imagine poor. any of that. I, there's too many people pooping everywhere and throwing. This trash. isn't San Francisco. I mean, we didn't invent the paint that reflects piss. 
in Atlanta. We don't have that issue, thankfully. But that's my point is when you have a problem, you fix it. That's capitalism. Socialism, the only thing that's ever been invented out of the socialism has been a way to kill people. I think stuff. men men think like that because you're like the more the merrier. I want to just have sex with all the women. It's no, I, again, again, you have We're this kind of like, like I, I understand why you think that way about men because you fuck very young men and that's fine, but yeah. that's not how all men are. That's not how all men are. Yeah, I, think yeah. you have to, I think you have to have more perspective. Like she said, you have to leave the country. <laughs> you have to fuck men that don't think like that and then maybe you can have a little bit better perception of how men are. Yeah. yeah, stop being with these fuck boys. Yeah, why don't you fuck some older men, dude? Why don't you go fuck yeah, a fifty-year-old yeah. who's fucking his female dog? Yeah, that'd be so unique. Yeah, you know? like God, that would and be that so would great. Give you a new perspective. Exactly. Like you want exactly. To- I did, man. Exactly. I, I did it, you would know. Tried. You'd be like, you, he would. Would it be cheating if you fucked a fifty-year-old guy and he still fucks his dog after you? Oh, would that be cheating? Did you ask me? Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, looking sorry, at you. Uh, I think it's gross. <laughs> I think it's all disgusting. I'm only going to date 22 year olds from now on. I think really? That's, I think that's fair. It's so clean. Is that how old this dude is? The way in Chattanooga? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so clean and nice. Clean? What's clean? They don't have like sagging bulges everywhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so like, oh, you're normally oh. fucking 50 year old men. Okay. Yeah, sagging yeah. bulges of what? Dude, like tumors growing out of their necks. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> these old people. I'm like, who are you fucking like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People that work at the nuclear plant or some Must shit. Be. But I was just saying, like, um, I was trying to be a peacemaker at the UN, and they, like the people that they have uh, negotiating peace are fat bureaucrats who who they just have a packet of paper, and they're like, sign this to the two like conflicting parties, and if the conflicting parties don't want to sign it, they're like, what do you want changed? And then they take it back, and it's. I always thought that a peacemaker was like some like clever person that's like shit. Let's all chill. Uh, I went like let let me let's get some alcohol. Let's do some Molly. No, I thought it was like a a sly job, like a talented job, but it's just a beer beer. No, you should get the, you should get in the gun sales. You should get in the gun sales. I think that's that's exactly. Dude, you you should sell me people a gun. come in fighting. They're like, well, let's buy a gun. Shut up. It's, let's buy a fucking gun. I'm just saying, I'm hey like, man, oh. can I place? Can I put an order in for a gun? Absolutely. I, I actually Are you don't. Still working at the. Pawn I don't. Shop? I don't. I don't work at the pawn shop anymore. I don't work at the gun range anymore. I, now I work as a, a, a underwriter slash service writer as a diesel at a diesel mechanic shop is what I'm doing now. But okay. I've done a lot of shit, and uh, it's just the next thing because I don't have a fucking education. It's experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you should just like. Well, I don't know. I think college is kind of overrated. It can be. It's debt for some people. It's debt for yeah. some people. But it's also fucking badass. Like, I, again, I had friends who went to college. I would go there and hang out. The environment is fucking awesome. Like, you could still do it, go to college. What's, yeah, but what would I get a degree in? You know? The environment is awesome. Like what environment? People doing homework what? is awesome to you. Who said that? <laughs> it can be. People stressing out. I know. It can be if you're learning. <laughs> if you're learning. At a laptop. If you're if you're learning, but I'm also yeah. talking about like the drugs. I never. I, I was never involved it. on that end of it. Um, yeah. I sat in on a couple of my brother's philosophy classes, but I mean, further than that, I dude. Never if I was about. ever in, remember college, y'all did y'all go to that? No, I yeah. Know. When if yeah. I was ever in the library, dude. If you ever saw me in the library, I was having the worst day of my fucking life. You were, you were in UGA library? If I was in the library, the library? that means I was which just library? Which library? Yeah, yeah, which library did you go to? UGA library. The, the main, main one? one? Yeah. I like that. On that campus? Man. Dude, I like that too. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. Cool and, like, weird. It's like Some that. people go there and like just do their stuff. If I was yeah. ever there, it was because I was like just trying as hard as I could to finish something. Yeah. Or to like, yeah. Yeah, because you need to like have no distractions and shit, right? Yeah, college is, it is very stressful. You, have you to know do what? That's kind of how I feel and, now. Like, not get paid. It sucks. Yeah. I like yes, actually I really hate college. Yeah, you like yeah. turn in something and you're like, I'm so sorry. Here it is. And yeah, they like yeah. yell at you more. They're like, this was late or something. Like it was so stressful, like taking an accounting exam. You had to like show your ID and like prove who you are. Like sit in this. Apparently, room. that's the hardest exam. What? I did pretty good in accounting. accounting? Yeah, Shout out to the Lions Den Comedy got- Showcase tomorrow, Sunday. Ooh. I got B plus in accounting. Who's, is that E Craig's room? Yeah. Oh, what time shit. does it do that? At uh, tomorrow's at six. All right. Is this the end of your podcast? Sunday, six p.m. Yeah. Shout out to the Lions Den. Six p.m. Come by. We're all gonna have a lot right. of fun. We're gonna smoke and cigars tomorrow. Right. Really? Tomorrow. I'm sorry. What's tomorrow? It's, it's this Sunday. Is Sunday. 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 Yeah. This Sunday. is the lion. Aww. This this month has been a lion's den. 
We're going to smoke cigars. <laughs> we're going to drink Henny. We're going to have fun. A lot no, of fun. you better not, man. They'll charge you too much. All right, we're gonna, we're all we're gonna say some good <laughs> shit about the Lions Den. We're gonna drink some well that. shit. And get, I'm not gonna go up that ass. We're gonna there. we're gonna Dude, plug this I, shit. We are we are, we are live we are live on the on the oh, internet right shit. now. Um, well, <laughs> it's like we're, we're naming oh, names. Shit. Dude, I said it out loud. It's yeah, you're the worst. I don't know. No offense. You can say shit. Man. All the fence. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna uh, come by the come by the Lions Den cigar shop Alpharetta tomorrow on Sunday, December the thirteenth. I don't know what day it is. Who the fuck knows? Yes. Just, just come. Just come. We're going to be doing sets there. Correct. Um, Today's the 12th. What do you have to plug? You have Today's to the plug? 12th. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't have anything to plug other than just uh, if you have an Instagram, I'm at Tony Perez Comedy on anything. And then, uh, you know, hopefully you'll see me around and more shows will actually be fucking happening, you know? That's all yeah, man. And thank you. Man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank thanks for coming. Me. I really appreciate, appreciate it. And thank you for co hosting. Thank you. Yeah, do you have anything to plug? I'm selling. These, what? These what are you selling? and these the up on what the you... screen. <laughs> and uh, my Instagram is Christy Vera K R I S T Y. Wait, K R I S T Y. She doesn't know how to spell it. And that happens. That happens. All right, everybody, follow her. Thank you. I don't have anything else to plug. Television for the Smart Tard. It is out. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in back in next whenever the fuck we're going to have it. Woo. Everybody, hail Satan. Um, thank, yeah. uh, I, I like to give a shout out to the blacks. Praise Allah. Uh, and uh, cool. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Shout out to the blacks. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. No, that creepy ass uh, quote unquote firefighter or whatever. The hey, no, I'm not into this shit yet. Oh, I, I'm not going to. I don't want to like. Take out of it. Yeah, this still has a video. It's not that hard. God damn. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Is this one still percolating or no? Yeah, percolating. Not sure. percolating. This one's still, this one's I think percolating. it is percolating. I ended it. Oh, yeah. All right, television for the smart turn it out. Fuck all y'all. <laughs>